Hello? Yo, mic check, one, two, one, two, two legit city on the mic, yo, what's going on everybody? How y'all doing today? It's your boy me, two legit city, and we're live. Today we're going to be playing the Oxygen Not Included base game. And that's because today, we're going to be playing with the uh, 100k challenge. If you guys are not familiar with the 100k challenge, that is going to turn on a very specific planetoid, much like the Bator mod. And this is uh, going to be kind of custom. I'm not really sure how it really works, but it's basically extreme rhyme. So if you guys are familiar with rhyme, rhyme is a cold planet. And what we're going to be playing on is a modified version of that. So this is rhyme. You normally have a very cold map. Uh, everything is cold. And for the most part, the tough part about this is the beginning of the game. Uh, just because generally the cold energy that's just lingering on the map is going to help you out a lot since a lot of the buildings generate a lot of heat. So the cold energy allows you to get by without using some of the more uh, higher threshold metals. Instead of having it just rhyme though, we're having 100k. And that actually translates to minus 173 Celsius. And everything on the planet is at that temperature. So that means it's uh, very tough. <laughs> it's very tough. So we're gonna be playing on a very extremely cold map at minus 173. A lot of bad things will happen. Now, we're doing some additional challenges. Those additional challenges are the three achievements that are failable. Everything else doesn't really matter because we have enough time that if we just do all right, it's going to be okay. But uh, for the most part, um, Carnivore, Local War, and Super Sustainable are going to be the three additional achievements we're going to try to do in time. Now that's going to be the hard part because we're going to need to try to get enough shovels for ranching. It is base game, so the shovels will make it easy. And then we have to do Local War, which we'll do with Carnivore. And then the hard part is going to be trying to do Super Sustainable. Now the thing with this is that we are playing with geysers on. There's a version of this where there's no geysers and that kind of sounds like it's a horrible time <laughs> but that's going to be today's challenge hope you guys enjoy let me know if you have any questions so you see you over there moral nine non-stop naps spoonwood and hulk bravo i see you guys over there hope you guys are having a good one excited to see the run yo man this is gonna be my first time on 100k so hopefully it's not that bad Regular oil would make oil spawn at regular temperature, at least used to. Okay. New challenge? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. So, does this even do anything? Oh, it does. Okay, so I am not going to take that seed. We're going to randomize the seed, as always. So, we're going to roll the d20 dice. And we roll it 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the last button is... Oh my god, what a setup! Geo Dormant? Geo Dormant? Come on. Metal Rich? That's not gonna help me. <laughs> this is not gonna help, man. Metal Rich means you take away my oxygen. Geo Dormant means I might not get a water geyser. <laughs> oh, what a bad set. No nah, man, I, I rolled the, the, the D20. We're going to have to take this one. The D20 has spoken. There could be a chant. Durability indestructible. I want the uh, default settings, please. Stress, care package, default, 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 default. Water not included. I know, right? It's going to be worried. Rhyme's a good comparison. The biome layout is uh, the biome the the biome the biome layout is different though. There's uh, more ice biomes. They don't give you sleet weed, right? <laughs> the no sleet weed shenanigans, because they don't give you sleet weed on rhyme either, which sounds like a travesty. Constant cold air debuff, yeah, I imagine. Constant cold air. You get bad stress. Be like that sometimes. All right, let's get it started. 
all default settings. Oh yeah, it dives. It's too cold for sleet wheat to actually grow. <laughs> all right. We're going to be playing with DGSM. So let me get my triple rolls out. Just want three interests and two traits. One negative, one positive. Try to keep it fair. So let's check this out. Uh, we need a researcher. Wait, do we need a researcher? Do we need a researcher? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, I'm thinking about this. Do we need a researcher? Like thinking about it. What will we even research if we're doing this this type of challenge run? I mean, we would need to research, right? Because we need to get ranching. I guess we'll give them research suit wearing. And then the third skill would be... Insulated tiles, that's true. I mean, we would need to research, but we just wouldn't need a lot. So I'm thinking we don't need like a perfect dupe for this. They could be the cook. Theoretically. Because after they're done researching, we're not going to be cooking in the beginning. They could just take over the cooking job. That makes sense, right? Because they're only going to be tacking up in the beginning for what? Spawn setup? Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, let's give them... Something that's not that good, like caregiver and negative impacts. Oh, yeah, let's go. The net zero traits. Plus medicine, minus medicine. Let's go, boys. Actually does nothing to the, to the dupe. <laughs> All things balanced, boys. All things balanced. This guy's going to cry and sticker bomb. And it's not bad. All right, the next dupe we're going to want... Dig, dig, and what else? Dig and ranching. Oh no, I don't want to dig and rancher. No, mate. No, I want my first dupe that I get to be a rancher. I think. No, we should make him a rancher. Dig ranch, and then tidy. I guess. I'll be Ellie, this guy, <laughs> Cthulhu, knows that we're not going to go to the databanks ever, comes in and takes the researcher, and call him Frieza, oh my god, what a guy. Oh, wait, hello? People of chat, did my screen just black out for you guys? My monitor just went all black. Okay, it's back. What the hell was that? Y'all, Y'all see anything, chat? Nope. Okay, I think that means I have a loose cable somewhere. Mamba's sleeping on the bed, so nothing is nudging it. That's kind of weird. I don't know what that is then. Uh, as long as the, it's back, I'll be okay. All right, so Dig Tidy Ranch. This is a horrible set, to be honest. I shouldn't give one ranching. I mean, it's, it's better to have one than to not have one, though. Realistically thinking. All right, we're going to give this guy... I want to make this guy kind of a stud. So I'm going to give him... Uh... Oh, I don't want the skills. Twinkle Toes. The negative trait, we will give him Biohazardous, Vomit, Sparkle Streaker. Good, good, good. And then Catalina is going to be our builder. Build supply operating. And then the trait will be the bad traits. These are too strong. I don't want to give any of these skills. I don't want a second Twinkle Toes. Oh, a buff builder? Hell yeah, dude. The builders must be buff. I'll take that. And then let's make this guy. Can't cook. Sure. And then we already have a vomiter. We already have a crier. Let's get a binge eater. Sure. 
and then super productive. That's not bad. All right. 100k plus no, nah, just just call it 100k mamba. The 100k mamba. The 100 grand. Dude, they happen to all be blonde. These are just chance rolls that we got to in the beginning. Alright, and with that, let's let it begin. Guys, hope you guys are ready. We will name this guy once we get inside the game. So that it not every Ellie comes out named Frieza. <laughs> but we should be good. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so of course, first things first. As soon as we begin, we gotta pause. Classic start. All right, so what we need to set up initially is the priorities. Uh, life support's a plus. Toggling's a plus. Doctoring is a low. Everything else is okay. Cooking is disallowed. Decorating, same thing. Researching, same thing. Ranching, same thing. And everything else should be okay. So Catalina. Morrow's coming in as well. I see you over there. All right, let's rename the dupes. So Ellie is going to be Frieza. And Mar, what would you like the name to be? Let me know. Can I make this guy look like Frieza? I can't. <laughs> Frieza's current outfit is, is garbage. Oh, give him the purple. Give him the the uh, the glove. What was that? What was that called? The the Ginyu Squad, right? The Ginyu Squad. Got to give him the purple and white, man. We got the Ginyu Squad over here. I wish we had a white top, so I could have put purple pants and then white, purple, white. Assigned to Frieza. Alright, Frieza, you got it, buddy. Alright, Gossman is going to be Marl. Welcome on in, you guys. Marl, what colors do you like? Is this extra thick? Like, why is the shape, like, extra, like... This looks like a large, and this looks like a medium pizza. You guys know what I'm saying? Oh, these are shorts. These are shorts. Mar, you're wearing you're wearing shorts, buddy. Now we'll give you the uh, the white pants. Doctor Duckling joining as well. I see you over there. I see you over there. I see you over there. Oh, we have high socks. Dude, you could match. <laughs> Uh, the gloves kind of need to be purple. Wait, no. That's just a sign. And Dr. Duckling, what would you like the name to be? Let me know. This guy is going to be a Dr. Duckling, huh? Let's give him this. I want to give him the shorts. And I guess we just give him the uh, regular shoes like that. I don't have enough glove choices. We'll just keep the default. All right. Dr. Duckling, do we have name? For now, we'll just put Dr. Duckling. All right. The new dupes are in. They're uh, tailor-made new clothes. A couple of them got turtlenecks. They're, uh, you know, back in the day. So look at the composition. We have solid carbon dioxide. Okay, that's not good. All right, it's cold, fam. It's minus 60, and then it immediately drops to minus 140. Okay. There's a shine bug here that's not dead. Everything's going to die. All right, polluted ice, carbon dioxide. This is a normal terabiome. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Can I be the shine bug? Oh, I don't have the mod to rename the uh, the animals yet. I need to take that mod. <laughs> Someone needs to remind me, man. I need I need to download that mod. There's so many mods I need to get. 
All right, so let's go back into the priorities since that's a sop. Let's go with Dr. Duckling. Dr. Duckling is our builder. So build supply, miner on storing, and then miner on operating. No, it should be like this. Build supply operating and then tidying. And then let's do the minus on digging and attacking. That way we have one, two, three. Yeah. And then freeze us the researcher. So we got to let him do that. Researcher and then the cook. So we do cook secondary. Everything else is flat. Should be all right. Uh, I don't want them attacking because they're not strong. I don't need them tidying, I don't think. We're going to have a dedicated tidier. And then the farming operating should be fine. The building, I guess we'll leave like that. Should be fine. Actually, let's put it down on supply. Actually, no, we might need it. We might need it. Now, Marl's going to be digging. And then they are athletic. And then they do ranching. So we do that. And then they do this. All right, triple interest. Uh, I would ideally take you off of the ranching once we get another person. All right, we got the crew. Looks like we got a uh, the early 90s girl bands showing up. We got TLC in the business. All right, so first things first. I don't need a bathroom, right? Because everything freezes the moment we pee. <laughs> and also the ice has to melt for us to actually get water to use for the supercomputer so that's going to be interesting so this is going to be really tough all right so let's map this out solid carbon dioxide feels bad it's not a lot though actually no it's kilograms now the good news is, is that when we mine that out it's going to be able to uh get halved so we want to mine out the carbon dioxide and then if we can we want it to melt and then fall down and re-solidify so that it potentially we could dig it up again <laughs> with the idea that if that happens we'll be able to keep cutting the mass in half the oxygen is going to be cold because the algae is at minus 100 fun times and then i think the first thing we need to grab is metal we need to research off the bat. I don't think we need toilets. Realistically, I think it's just going to overtake the cold energy. And we're not going to need toilets anymore. So, I think we just start digging. Uh, grabbing the food, probably. Make sure we don't let the hatches eat the food. So, priority nine. And then... Start a couple of digging patterns. So, we need to go both sides. Let's let it get started. So while we let him do that, let's see. I need to go to the top. Okay, we're kind of close. Not really. This is the top of the star map. So we would have this much space of space. And then here to here. Oh no, regolith here to here. And then here to here to the top of the map. Okay. So I want to go up. I need to get shovels. That's going to be the name of the game. Tasmadar, what's good? Welcome on in. I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. All right, so we have a lot of people digging, gonna give them some new jobs. And we're just gonna build out randomly. Everything is ice cold, so it doesn't really matter which direction we go. That's kind of like the upside with this. Don't have to worry too much about the uh, temperatures. Speed this up. Now I wanna grab the metal because we need that in order to start researching. We need that for power as well and to start generating heat. And all the initial cold energy is gone. You hate to see it. All right, so we have not found the metals yet. So this is how long? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's pretty fair. It doesn't really matter which direction we go, so we'll go with that. And then what I will want to do is set up the ladder. 20 I think it's perfect because this is 18 which means if I put doors on one side and the other this is 17 16 in the middle and that's perfect for a room size we're good we're good 
Sounds like you just woke up. Wake up. No, man. I don't want to wake up. I want to go to sleep. Hatch one out. Digging reliable hatch spot. Oh, yeah. There's that hatch spot. That's true. I didn't want to close my eyes. I don't want to close my eyes. Oh, there's a vacuum here? That's pretty cool. I just want to fall asleep. That's a song, right? That's a song. Taraja, how you doing? Hope you're having a good one. This hatch is just eating my dirt. Do we kill him? I think we do, dude. Like, he's not going to help us in this playthrough. <laughs> he's not going to help in this playthrough. I think they got to go, man. Where's my the guy that swings the hammer? We got to hit him with the proton cannon. There's too much digging to be done, though. So he's they're not attacking him. Feels bad. Uh, so we're not supposed to need a bathroom because it's so cold that the water's going to freeze immediately. We're going to go with that strat. Yeah, we're gonna do carnivore. Can I do carnivore? Doing all right. Excited for D four tomorrow. Did you hear? Are you are you getting the the uh, deluxe package? There were rumors that if you get the deluxe package, you get a huge benefit for just like anything in the game. The one that's ninety bucks. They say that it's a huge increase in benefits. I didn't look up too much into it though, so I don't know what, what the details are. Don't you guys have phones? Cthulhu knows, man. He knows. Alright, it's time to kill the hatches. We gotta go. It's not pay the win. Gotcha, gotcha. If you don't kill them, they will die soon anyways. Will they eat a second time? I'm not sure. Gotcha, gotcha. You gotta think about that. Gotta think about that. You're not ever warming this place up? It's hard. Um, there's no real point in warming the place up until we get insulated tiles. And that specifically requires me to get metal. So we're gonna get that right now. Get the copper ore. And then we're going to uh, need to research insulated tiles in order to be able to start generating heat in the sense that the temperature wants to go up, right? If we try to cool down the entire map, it's not going to be possible. <laughs> so instead, we have to segment a section so that we don't have to deal with the temperatures in those areas. But yeah, I need to get insulated tiles, so we're going to try to get some metals and start the research setup. Is that liquid carbon dioxide popping in and out of Shinebug? Yep. There we go. Caught it, boys. 20 grams. Looks like someone breathed out and it fell in. We have a little bit down here as well. <laughs> Liquid CO2. So we're not going to need bathrooms, though. Always lucky. So power is going to be in here. All right. So we're not going to have doors, but if we do, it would be here. I will put one battery here just for heat generation in the corner. And then we will need to get research started. All right. So we're going to be doing carnivore and locavore, which means we're not going to be farming. We can't really farm anyways. And uh, we're going to be having to go to the top of the map to grab shovels. There's a couple of things from the top of the map that's also pretty nice. Uh, the meteors. The meteors allow us... Oh, I forgot to change the uh, schedule a little bit. That's fine. I was going to give them another hour of work. All right. The first day they get to slack off. It feels bad. Got that right there. All right. So, uh, super sustainable is we need to get a lot of power, which usually means I need to find a geyser. 
since we're going to need the hydrogen for that to make it easy. Can't use coal, and uh, otherwise we want hamster wheels. Now, we also need to take care of some food issues. That's going to be a fun time. And then we're going to want to uh, make our way to the top. If we could do all that, I think the hard part is going to be doing super sustainable. Because we can technically do it without a... Uh... Oh, look at that! Hydrogen! This is sedimentary. Oh, this is a salt biome. Okay. Hydrogen is nice. Use that for power. Oh, what? Vanilla only? Absurd. Almost Emily. What's good? We're playing on the 100k challenge. Look at that. It's cold. Look at that. It's 180. Man, that's cold. <laughs> We're going to eventually pee your pants, and it's going to immediately solidify. That sounds painful, because it probably is. Everyone's at full bladder, <laughs> and we have no bathrooms. You hate to see it. This is like advanced kidney stones. They're peeing out ice. It's not a fun time. Alright, when's it gonna happen though? Everyone's at full bladder. Any wheel runners? Any wheel runners? There we go. Almost Emily, how are you doing today? Hope you're having a good days. Hope you're having a uh, good Thursdays. How are you? There it is. Made a mess. Oh, it's actually liquid. Doesn't that mean it generates heat? Doesn't this technically generate heat? I'm thinking about it. Because they pee out pee water at the same temperature as their bodies. Oh, look at those ice pebbles dropping. Oof, dude. Big oops. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. <laughs> dude, that looked mad painful, dude. That did not look like the business. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so let's get some new floors in. So, of course, we had to do the classic. Got to mine all this floor. Get the tiles here, right? We got to do that. Mine everything around this. Classic stuff. Uh, we're going to start getting research in. This is going to be enough to start catching the CO2. I think outhouses less stress, but more germs. Oh, no, the germs die. Don't the germs die? Food poisoning dies, right? Or is it because it's inside of the outhouse that it doesn't die? It should die. Minus 25. Alright, so I want to get to ranching. So I do need to get to, first things first, supercomputer. Because we're going to need that for ranching tech anyways. Let's speed this up. Uh, let's also mine out these two layers. So that all the debris items fall to the ground. And then we can just build a clean layer right here. Should be fine, should be fine. So far, so good, but we're at the beginning of the game, so it's not really that bad yet. I haven't really made oxygen, which I probably should. Alright, we're going to do the clean setups. As if we're planning to have doors here for the most part. We could probably also try to get the laboratory room type. So we get the science research bonus. Which would be kind of sweet to be honest. Where did the shine bug go? It died man. It's too cold. The shine bug was imported from uh, the, the desert. It was not used to the extreme cold and it perished. They don't think it'd be like it is, man, but it do. Oh, man, Gossman's going to get stuck. Oh, Marl's going to get stuck. Oh, Marl's stuck. <laughs> oh, man, can someone save him? Can someone save this man? There we go. He's no longer stuck. Research complete. Not bad. All right, we mine this out, build the layers. This is clean. Going to go up top, build another layer. We won't need bathrooms. It's probably fine. We don't have any stress anyways. Oh, did they just eat the meat from the hatch? That's another thing I should I should probably get soon. Uh, 
I should probably get an electric grill as soon as possible. Because I'm thinking too, we're probably not going to have to worry about uh, food storage. <laughs> oh man. Curious to see how you melt water for science food. Oh yeah, I need water as well. That's true. So we don't really need to do that immediately, I guess. We could try to reach to the surface for the easy way out. Or look for a geyser. Those would be the simplest ways. But for the most part, mush bars take water. Oh, that's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, we're going to need the water. Can I get insulated tiles without water? No, I can't. I need water for that. Oh, man. All right. So... We could use a strat. We could use a strat for this. I just don't think it's going to be worth it. And it's going to be tough to do. Since we don't have any water of any kind. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, do you have any doors? We don't have any doors either. Technically, the manual airlocks would be fine for this. I just don't have enough metal. What are you doing? You're picking up copper to supply. Why is that taking forever? The CO2 is becoming gas here. I can't believe it. That means there's enough warmth. So I think the biggest bottleneck is going to be not having metals. But we're metal rich. That's such a weird situation. Tiles are built to a strat uh, 15 default. I see you. Heat not included. Napolini's what's good. I see you over there. Hope you are doing well. Heat not included indeed. Oh, is there a hatch here? No, there's not. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't want them uh, going under here to grab our stuff before we have access to it. So there is a strat I'm thinking about, and that is utilizing the vacuum wall. Now, the problem with the vacuum wall is that we, we would have to do that without any access to things like suits or pumps and things like that. So I'm a little bit worried. Look at that little baby colony. What's going on, Apple Grieva? How are you? The dupes made a mess, but uh, I don't see the pee water. Classic dupes. No pee water. All right. The first dupe. What do we get? Fungal spore is not going to help us. I want a rancher. This guy looks pretty good. This guy is really good, man. We're going to take Frankie. Wait, what part of this challenge is not having toilets? <laughs> None of this is about toilets. Uh, so Frankie's going to be the rancher. We don't need you to ranch anymore. You'd be a minor rancher. And then you do excavation. So we want you digging as well. So you're going to be the opposite. You ranch first and then dig second. You dig first, you ranch second. All right, so Frankie is going to be the rancher. So we give him the farming skill, and then he get ranching soon. We got the supercomputer tech, I think. We did. All right, so I want to get insulated tiles, but I don't know if we could do it. We're going to grab this next. Gossam most prefer mechatronics. I actually have a mechatronics dupe already. We just got to level them up. Did you say you would need a water? F uh, you need a water for a pump? No, no, no. It's, it's. Uh, I don't need the pump at the moment, so I didn't think I needed the tank. Hulk Bravel joining the colony. That's gonna be Frankie. Hulk Bravel, we got you in, buddy. Tasmadar, you gotta be on the waiting list. I'm sorry. Everyone else is already claimed, so Hulk Bravel had to default to the new guy. But yeah, man, first come, first serve. 
I see the Hulk Bravo coming in first. Yo, I'll have you uh, on the queue, though, Tasmadar. No worries. We'll have you on the queue. Coming in with the daily smiles. I see you over there, Spoonwood. You guys, can we get some smiles in chat? Some good vibes, some good energy for the day. It'd be good times. Another will come. Of course, of course. Thank you, Luniscus. Coming in with the smiles. I see you over there. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. The dupes are going to entomb themselves. Nah, man. I trust in the dupes. I trust in the dupes. The Mamba Happies with non-stop naps. Good stuff. Good stuff. Have you ever seen the movie Being John Malkovich? I have not. I've heard of the movie, but I don't, I don't know anything about it. I don't know the premise. I've never seen it. I haven't seen the trailers. I trust the dupes, man. The dupes we trust. All right, so I have an idea. We could do a vacuum wall from here to here. Because this is a vacuum and this is a vacuum. That allows me to not worry about heat transfer at the bottom. And we could start warming it up down here. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I see you over there. Yeah, I see Apple Creep. Huh? I don't know. I don't know. It'd be exactly like taking the AI implementation, though. Movie's still great. Just don't know the premise, but it was still a great movie. <laughs> Kiwi, what's good? I see you over there. The 0.5 floor freaked me out. Don't worry, man. They're not going to do anything bad. Warm with what? Uh, the idea would probably be building a battery bank. The idea would probably be building a battery bank. No, I know what I would need to do for the vacuum. The strat is actually pretty easy. It's just hard to do in practice because it's very time consuming, but it is possible. It would be a lot easier with mechanized airlocks though. Oh, one's down boys, one's down. There we go. <laughs> We saved before the alert even popped up. Let's go, let's go. Oh, and they self entomb. Come on, get out of there. Round two, electric boogaloo. Come on, man. Someone save them. Stop clapping. Stop clapping, man. Jeez. All right, we're going to manually move out Dr. Duckling because he needs some assistance. And now we're going to be okay. He entombed himself, man. Classic dupes. Oh, Marl's gonna get sabotaged right now. Look at that. Dr. Duckling is trying to assassinate him. Move, move. Hey, didn't get killed. Oh, Dr. Duckling's gonna get wrecked. Oh, self wreck again. Oh, look at that. He clipped through the walls. The illegal strats. These guys, man. I can't believe them. Can't believe them, man. They're just clipping through walls now. It's like they're uh, Shadow Kitty from X-Men. Still got CO2 around the pod. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It'll eventually go away. It's because the liquid over here is uh, stockpiling. Once we let this drip to the bottom, it'll be fine. Now, insulating the bottom, I don't know if that helps me, though. There's so many weird things I, I'm, I'm curious to think about because it's like if we let it cold enough, we could pump out the CO2 liquid into another room. <laughs> it's such a weird idea, but that technically works. That technically works. I don't know if I want to do that. So everyone's making a mess. We're not going to be using bathrooms. It's, you know. Don't got to worry about germs. Um, they pee out solids. Be like that sometimes. Yeah, a little bit of H2. A little bit of H2. 
Yeah, the, the P water is freezing instantly, man. It's 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 insane. <laughs> it's actually pretty insane. But we live with you know what we got. I can't be comfortable, no man. It's uh We we don't think about it. We don't think about it. Hey, look at that. Hydrogen. Alright, the research is done. We can't do that because we don't have supercomputer tech. So we are going to be grabbing other stuff we'll need. So we'll grab the tech leading into ranching. Did I see bleach stone? Yeah, it's salt biome. Salt biome with the hydrogen. Bathrooms are overrated? Yeah, man. Bathrooms not included. Any geysers on the radar? Right now, we don't see any. Unless... No, that looked like neutronium, but it was just dirt. No geysers yet. We need to do some exploring, but uh, duplicates are a little bit struggling. Alright, so let's get some more batteries. Uh, let's get one on this side for a little bit of heat. Good afternoon. How is Mamba today? Mamba's napping like a good kitty cat. He's doing all right. What is the food plan? We're doing carnivore. So that means we have to get to the surface. That's going to be the first objective before we do anything else. I love how liquid solid CO2 just explodes into ugly cloud and then just gets uh, just when it gets a tad too warm. Dude, that's that's the life of 100k, man. It's all cold, but then the, the CO2 is reacting still. After playing this a few times, I started to think that getting Bleachstone early was useful. Really? Why would Bleachstone early be useful? Interesting idea. Yeah, it's base game. Uh, the 100k challenge mod only works for the base game. So that's part of the reason why we're doing it. Alright, so we want to go all the way to the top. So that's going to be our objective immediately. So my dupes are struggling a little bit with this. So I think we're going to do some uh, weird strats to reach the top. I think we're going to do two people dedicated to climb up. And I think I want to do this as soon as possible. What is Bleachstone used for? Uh, oh, this guy got stuck. Bleachstone is used for... Geo tuning? <laughs> Hand sanitizer is no use here. It has to be geotuning. But that would mean that you played this recently. Hot tub. It can make a spicy snack. I didn't play it recently, but I don't see why hand sanitizer would not be useful. Germs don't exist. It's too cold for germs. The only germ that exists here is zombie spores. <laughs> it's actually too cold for germs. Had a problem with bleachstone. It's not the use any longer. It's a source of it. Yeah, so they could just dig and jump. Got it. Yep. So that digging pattern was so that we could dig vertically fast so everyone could focus on uh, building the ladder. So one of the problems in this game is if you do a build command behind solid tiles, the game allows you to do this. But the priority for the dupes is messed up. Since this is considered a, bi a build command, the person digging that doesn't actually dig it because it's not a dig command. So as a result, it takes longer. Oh, the germs on dupes? They should, because it's it's the environment, right? Unless it's the duplicate's temperature, like the body temp of the dupe. Which in that case, it's going to be dependent on the dupe, right? Depending on how cold they are. But yeah, now they could split up the task. 
And then we allow them to climb up and down still, so it's uh, not that bad. Oh, dude, look at this. <laughs> this is the Draco biome. Oh, there's an opening here? Oh, how lucky. The opening here is top tier. Let's go. And then we have a little bit of chlorine here. This is a meme. Dude, this is cold enough for liquid oxygen. What the hell, dude? This is cold enough for liquid oxygen. I'm probably going to find liquid oxygen randomly. I'm a little bit worried about that now, man. Not going to lie. All right. So the dupes made a mess. It's fine. We got to do research. Uh, they got that done. We will probably want the new batteries. And we're going to need hydrogen tech anyway, so we'll grab this. Oxygen rain? No, seal 2 rain. That's the one we don't like, but it happens. Dude, they're getting stressed, man. Hulk Bravel. Full bladder, soggy feet, chilly surroundings. Is this a bellier world like the one from last one? No, this is the 100k challenge. So the 100k challenge is a custom planetoid. But it's basically a normally generated map. It, but instead, the temperature is all minus 173. So although the temperature goes up to minus 183, it averages out the entire map to be at minus 173 Celsius. So it's extremely cold. And as a result, when they pee, I don't need bathrooms because it's so cold that the water immediately solidifies. I just have to deal with the stress, which honestly, I don't think it's that bad. So right now we're trying to go to the top to grab shovels. And that's going to be the name of the game. Shovels are going to be a fun time. Because we need that for carnivore, and then we could store food indefinitely without any problems. <laughs> we could store food indefinitely without any problems. That's the crazy thing about that. I will need to grab a little bit of hydrogen, though. That's going to be our sterile gas, funny enough. Hydrogen is going to be the only gas for this. Oh, we got skill points. Sure. Dr. Duckling needs to grab the mechatronics line. Frieza is the researcher. We have Marl that needs to dig. We're good. We're good. Dupes on the temperature overlay or smurf. That's terrible. Yo, man, it's cold. I don't know what to tell you. How do you do advanced research if there's no water? We have to get to the surface where there's meteor showers. And that's going to allow us to melt ice into water. <laughs> I, I don't want to say that's a strat, but that's going to be what we're going to want to do. No, liquids do not count as a sterile atmosphere. No liquids do. No liquids count as a sterile atmosphere, sadly. No, nothing that's a liquid counts. You have to be a sterile gas or a vacuum. All right, so with this, I need to continue moving up. I could start digging now. That's great. So we want to go up this way. Up to here. Mind that out as well. I think liquid ethanol should count. Yo, oh, man. I don't think any liquids count, though, right? Got to petition the devs. Devs, dude. Ethanol should count. Just saying. So far, no geysers, though. I haven't really done much exploration. So let's do a very minor track. There's probably some Drekos here. I mean, uh, hatches here. And then I just want to see what's on the right side. We could do that dig. Shouldn't take too long. Build this here. I want to go up this way. And then we want to mine this out. That should be fine. We're going up this way because there's a brick in the Abyssalite. And I don't want to go through this way because there's a lot of undiggable tiles due to uh, skill levels. This is a lot softer. So I want to go through this style. It's unbreathable in both directions. Sand. Imagine walking on the beach with that sand temp. Dude, man, it probably hurt. Does one-to-one -one meet morale need, or does it need to be two-to-one? One-to-one is good. One-to-one is good.
The 2 over 1 is just more than needed. 1 to 1 it should be fine though. Oh man. I don't think we could provide calories yet. So we'll just maintain the uh, size for now. 1 to 1 should be good. So Frieza... We have net zero, even though we have cold air debuff. Oh, that's because of the new friends, lucky. Otherwise, sufficient morale. So one-to-one -one is fine. You wouldn't be able to feel what's on your feet. That's true. It would be that cold, yeah. You wouldn't be able to feel it. <laughs> it's kind of wild to think about. All right, we have a ladder spots going up. Let's speed this up. Let's build the ladder here. I also want to... Actually, I don't need to seal that side up. Let's mine this out. I do want to seal it up here so that once we go up into here, it'd be easy. I also want to seal up the side because of the hydrogen leaking in. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a stress debuff, yeah. We should be okay, though. All right, so I should start getting some beds. I don't want them having sore backs all day long. Oops, I missed that out. Yeah, it should be fine. They have an ugly room, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> and then research. Grabbing the kiln is probably nice. It's a little bit of a heat source. Bedroom, bathroom might be enough morale bonus. Even not plumbing, the latrine. The latrine, it's weird. Because it's like you get the one morale, but then you start getting sick. Right? You when you when you use the bathroom, you're gonna get germs on your dupes, guaranteed. But you can't wash your hands. <laughs> so it's like you gotta pick your poison, man. If they don't go inside the building, they don't get the buff though. They have to walk inside that room. So I guess just have a hallway that's like a fake park. That's why the bleach stone is for. Oh, uh, bleach stone for the hand, Sani. But you don't get... Oh, I mean, it's base game. That's true. You get most of the tech without getting uh, rads or plastic. That's right. That's right. Decorative latrine? It's not, it's not a... That's the modern park, dude. It's just a bathroom you can't use. <laughs> the futuristic park? It's just a bathroom. No, Owl Houses build will be fine. We'll get Owl Houses eventually when it's, uh, you know. When we're gonna be good, we'll be good. Yes, the hand sanity does require a DLC. I believe it does. I might be wrong, though. Because it's pretty deep in the tree, isn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't. It's up here. Oh, hey, that's pretty early. Interesting. I see why you got Bleach Stone now. I didn't think Hand Sandy was like that useful, but I guess it is. So once you research insulated tiles, you just rebuild your regular tiles with your main base and warm it up. Would that be a valid start? We're trying to figure that out. <laughs> that's actually what I'm trying to do, though. Going to the surface, get the meteorite heat so that we could start getting water. Once we have water, we could start doing research. And then once we have research, we start grabbing other stuff. And then once we grab the other stuff, we'll be in a good position. But that's the general idea. All right, so we have the kill now. I will grab the electrolyzer tech. Oh, look at that. We have the Gravitas door. This is a ice biome, never lucky. All right, bad news is, is that the salt biome keeps going up and then we're blocked off over here. It might have been better to go through the salt. Feels bad. But we need to uh, go up anyways. Uh, we went to the right. Oh, we have a geyser. What do we get? Iron volcano. Guys, guys, I have an idea. Guys, I have an idea. 
Guys, we're getting some water right now. <laughs> Guys, let's get some water. What's going on, Ace Billable Hero? How are you? I see you over there. Hope you're well. Which one has the least melting point? Is it granite? The highest melting point from my solids right now? No, that's weak. It has to be sandstone, right? Nine twenty-six, dude. What is this? It has to be igneous. Yeah, fourteen oh nine. All right, all right. So the germs are dead. Nice. I don't have to worry about that. Polluted oxygen. That's cool. I'm not even worried about that as well. <laughs> so. Uh, we want to do this. Probably mine all this out. Probably mine all that out. Uh, do this, do this, do this, and just continue straight. Alright, let's get this started. Let's get a little bit of a heat source. Let her rip. Yeah, man, we gotta do what we gotta do. Ace Billable Hero, we're doing well. It's cold, because we're playing the 100k challenge map. This map is an extremely cold map, and uh, the challenge is, is that the entire planet is at an average temperature of minus 173. Hulk Bravo, man. Oh, you're zero out of one? Why are you zero out of one? The decor was ugly. Aw, oh, come on. Alright, you're gonna be sleeping in a proper bedroom. You'll be fine. You'll be sleeping in a proper bedroom, dude. You'll be okay. So you're taking the ice to the iron, or the iron to the ice. I'll have to watch and see. Can I make drywall with ice? Or does it have to be temp shift plates? That, that's a that's an honest question. Oh, I can't even build that. Temp shift plates are what tech? I can't build ice statues. Oh, I can! Ice statues. Okay, that's going to be the tech I grab. <laughs> ice block statues. Alright, so... Temp ships require water as well. Okay. I still need to reach the top, though. So we're still going to go up this way. Yo, man. Liquid CO2 is the best friend, dude. The start is messy. Of course it is. <laughs> Classic dupe shenanigans. Alright, so I'm hoping that Hulk Bravo gets stress pickup. Because he's sleeping in a room. So he should have sufficient morale now. So this shouldn't be going up. Oh, this is still plus 10%. Soggy feet. Oh, it's because of the freaking seal 2 dude. Everyone constantly has soggy feet. <laughs> That's so gross. You don't have to worry about trivial, uh, the trivial stuff, such as uh, food poisoning or uh, slime lung. Yeah, but we get soggy feet all day, man. We, we breathe out seal 2 and it melts. <laughs> oh, man. Mesh tiles. I could grab mesh tiles. That's true. And then the soggy stuff would be on the ground. Alright, so... Working towards the top. Let him do what we gotta do. Oh, this is the Critter Flux. I am not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> I am not gonna be able to do the Critter Flux. Oh man, peeing out solids, freezing out liquid, that's basically the life of the 100k challenge. 100k challenge, man. It's bad times. Made a mess, classic. Alright, so let's get a ladder here. Alright, so how would we want to do this? Oh, we have another geyser up here? A minor volcano! Hey, Got him, boys. We got all the heat sources in the world. What in the world's happening, man? <laughs> okay, we have we have two volcanoes immediately. I mean, they're going to be useful. So let's, uh... We got to do what we got to do.
Are critters all dead or entombed and you dig them up and they are revived before freezing to death? Uh, all the critters that spawn into the map are dead. I believe. Immediately. We had a hatch and a shine bug in the beginning, but they died within the cycle. So I want to say they're all dead. I want to say they're all dead, but I'm not 100% sure. Dude, the stress keeps going up. Oh, and you're destructive. Damn it, man. Why did we get Holt Bravel, a skill he didn't like? <laughs> he didn't have the one buff of morale that he needed. Alright, looks like we have to give him another hour of downtime. Did that not matter? No, it did. Okay. Let's give him another hour of downtime. Oh, I can't do anything here until I'm able to mine obsidian. Oh, that sucks. I just realized that. <laughs> I can't do anything here until I get uh able to mine obsidian. No, yeah, I could let it out, but nothing's going to happen. It's just going to spill out and then solidify over here because it can't spill. <laughs> I want it to put that so that we could use uh like we could mine out the granite i don't think it's going to change anything i guess yeah we'll let the dupes do what they want to do hopefully it's not too bad all right so research is we have the kiln liquid filter gas filter liquid reservoir Oxygen mass. All right, ice block strats. Put ice statue in the corner to melt it. I wonder if the cold energy is just going to overtake the heat being generated. I feel like it will. Like, it's just so much mass. That's not even going to be, like, anything. I might actually want to go up to the volcano. But we'll have to see what happens. And hope it's not dormant. Alright, Hulk Bravo. Can we change anything? 0% <gasps> change in stress per cycle. Let's go. Net stress, 12.9%. Saul of Friends, sufficient morale. And now he's uh, Sad Panda again. Cold Air. Dude, how did giving him farming skill, like... Make this guy absolutely a madman. Absolutely a madman. Uh, let's get him a great haul, man. Oh, we actually could make a great haul. And then... No, we don't have the decorative buildings. Alright, we have a mess hall. It's better than nothing. We'll get the statue soon. Hello? What's going on, Banana Dude? Hope you're doing well. Gotcha, gotcha. Be good, Banana Dude. Hope Bravo, we got this, buddy. Alright, let's speed this up. This is mined out. It's idle. Hopefully it erupts soon. We need some of that heat energy to uh, melt the ice and get some water. Make a permanent ice statue. I don't have the tech yet. I need to finish the research first. Five more, five more. All right, so they're on idle downtime. We're gonna have to build this next. Ideally, I do want this, just so that we have a roof. Yep, that's liquid seal too. It's really cold, man. It's really cold. <laughs> the 100k challenge. I can't wait to be able to mine obsidian, though. That's going to be so important. Oh, 100k challenge looks fun. Yeah, it's it's really cold. 
Uh, duplicants are breathing out liquid CO2, and they're peeing out solid ice. Fun times. Everyone's a fan of that. Recreational CO2 pools. Yeah, man. They're for the Slicksters. Totally for the Slicksters. Warming up much faster, though. So minus 58 at this point. Not true. Not true. We started at positive 20. And we're slowly creeping down to 173. <laughs> so the area around the printing pod starts at a plus 20 temperature. But then everything else around it is minus 150. So we're slowly gravitating towards, and it's getting colder. <laughs> it's actually getting colder. It feels bad. All right, so we're going to put that there, deconstruct this. We're going to run out of muck root soon. I'm a little bit worried about that. I can't be taking the dupes yet. Stress is still climbing up. We need to get this great hall built. Uh, let's do the construction of this to be a little bit higher. disable the building so that it still works and then we just got to build the top oh rip long time ago i thought you needed solid co2 for the soda fountain oh wow imagine that'd be tough yeah 15 and then immediately drops it's a little bit green so building tiles does help Algae, sure. What biomes are on this planetoid? I think this is a normal Terra start. Slime, salt, jungle. Right? This looks like a normal Terra start. A little bit of sulfur. We have an ice biome up here. It looks like a normal Terra. Yeah, 100k challenge. They basically took the Terra map from what it looks like. And then uh, made it so that... <gasps> Walk to the Great Hall. Walk to the Great Hall. Get morale. Come on, dude. Don't beat anything up. Walk to the Great Hall. Do you not get the morale bonus until you eat inside? Or is this not a... This is a mess hall, dude. Aw, oh, man. He's going to be beating some up. All right, he's going to the top where there's a lot of natural tiles. Yeah, Hulk Bravo about the Hulk smash, dude. Aw, oh, man. This guy... He's just playing the role. So the upside is, is that if you're around natural tiles when you stress react, you actually can't break natural tiles. You can't break natural tiles. So that means that he's going to be beating up the Igneous. Which means that it's not going to break. Stressed. Finding a safe area, recovering the breath. He's able to breathe now. He's at 100. He's not going mad. There it is, lashing out. No, he's going all the way down here just to beat up the oxygen diffuser. Come on, man. Why you gotta do that? Can we move you out somewhere else? He doesn't want to listen to me anymore. No. Move. He doesn't listen. Hulk. No. What are you doing? Come on, man. Stop kicking the oxygen diffuser. Can we get some repairs on this? Hulk, we're going to make you repair that, man. I'm just saying. This guy is like, I don't want none of that. <laughs> She's like, nice job. Oh, not the tile. No. God damn it. Hulk, please. Everyone's scared. She cheered him on. I know, right? These guys. Oh, new playthrough. How was the Rapple with Victoria? It was easy. We tried to do some other stuff, but it ended up not working. Feels bad. <laughs> But it was pretty cool. It's 
stop right there, criminal scum. Oh, we have more copper ore in the starting biome than usual. Yeah, we have metal rich. Metal rich. We have that and geo dormant. So we only have eight geysers, which is a meme. <laughs> like, come on, man. I need the geysers for this. Damage aside, you must love the animations. Yo, man. Clay, Clay uh, loves their animations, man. Not gonna lie. Oh, there we go. He's beating up a natural tile. That will never break. So this means he's going to keep doing that until his stress reaction is over. This never takes damage. And he's done. Nice. All right, man. Just eat at the Great Hall. Be happy. Come on, Hulk Bravo. Get to work. Stop putting them hands up, dude. You got to not be putting them hands up like that. Can we get him some green clothes? We don't have any green clothes. We only have green gloves. That's the only thing we have. Nothing else is unlocked. We'll give him some high socks. Hulk Bravel's the guy that wears sandals with socks on. Classic Hulk Bravel. He got the they got the Hulk gloves, yeah. <laughs> So you're making Carnival Local 4 more difficult? Uh, what's up with the stress? Uh, since it's the 100k challenge, when they pee, they pee out solids. So I thought to myself, I don't need to make bathrooms in that case. But the problem is, is that they will always have a full bladder, which causes stress. And then they're peeing their pants all the time, which also causes stress. And the reason is because I can't wash my hands. All the water is frozen. So I can't actually do research with a supercomputer, nor can I get water to wash your hands. <laughs> it's kind of wild. So yeah, it's 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 a tough time. It's a tough time. All right, it looks like this was a bad shot. Uh, I need to get abyssalite mining soon. When do I get that? Uh, in like two cycles. Okay. That means we have to go other routes for now. Dude, look at this. Iron. I think this is going to be enough. I think the problem with this is that although this is cool. It's not going to keep the water as water. I don't know if that makes sense. It doesn't keep water as water. So I don't think this is going to be feasible. Like, it's cool to have, but I don't think it's going to do enough. Because it's like, not that I don't think it's going to melt, but I think the moment we melt, it's going to re-solidify back to ice again. <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. And it's, that's that would suck, man. Not going to lie. Dude, this is open. I'm going this way now, man. Even though it's harder to dig. All right, so what we might want to do that makes a lot more sense is do a weird strat. So I think the thing is here, oh, that's solid seal too. All right, that means we have to ladder up from this point. So I want to do here. Go up this way. This goes up that way. And then we go up this way. Oh, that's kind of tough. And then this goes up to here. This kind of works. And then we could reach the top still. So we got to do this. So I want to do a natural ladder here. And that's going to be because I don't want to build a ladder. We're going to take this one. And we're just going to try to continue the ladder going up vertically. As if this was open. I need to do some exploration, though. Cold biome is 10 above starting biome. Dude, man, it'd be like that sometimes. Will the water freeze once it's in those five-gallon buckets that they transport with? Yes, they can. You could heat that up, and you could freeze that, too. So those bottles of water on the ground, like if I were to mop up the CO2, that is affected by the temperature. Have a good one, banana. Dude, we'll see you next time. Yeah, you got to either dig, find a heat source. That's usually the race for this in the beginning. Found water yet? Yeah, it's frozen. <laughs> the water is right here. It's called ice. It's a tough time.
How are you going to keep it non-frozen enough to get the supercomputer? Technically, I shouldn't have the supercomputer here. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to disable the building. What I should do is go to the top and build a base up top so that I could use the meteor, uh, the meteors as a heat source. And then since that's going to be a heat source, we could bring the ice up top that will melt the ice into water. And then I could use the water from there. That has to be, I think, what we have to do. Let's cancel most of this, actually. I want to say that's what I have to do, or should be doing, though. Something along the lines of that. Go to the top, use the meteorite's heat source to be uh, how we do all this. Oh, I can't do this because of... Uh, I didn't get the ladder here that I was supposed to get. All right, so we have the tier one stuff. Uh, I guess we get bathrooms. I guess we could try to look for a water source still. Or maybe just open this up. This is a volcano. Yeah, no no supercomputer tech. We can't melt water. <laughs> it's, it's, it's honestly a meme, but it is what it is. All right, let's go this way. And see what's on the left side. Nah, it's fine. We don't need the masks. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright, so we do have the kiln. Which could be a decent heat source. Uh, we would make refined carbon. Makes sense. What up to legit in chat? What's going on, Rambo? How are you? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. How's the Thursdays? How are you? Uh, does it matter? Oxalite is one of those things that you could dig through or not, and it doesn't actually matter. Oh, the compost is pretty good. Oh, I don't have any pea dirt. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That actually gives me a little bit of uh, pea dirt. You got rust? Uh, yeah. Get chlorine with that. Solid chlorine. Liquid chlorine. But if you didn't know, you could mine through oxalite and it doesn't hurt you. No, the off-gassing amount changes. So, in a tile like this, the off-gassing percentage and the debris tile like this and the off-gassing percentage is different. So, it the math checks out so that if you half the mass... But because it goes from a diggable tile to the debris tile, which means that the mass loss during oxidization changes, it evens out perfectly. So it doesn't actually matter. The super cold playthrough? You mean this one? <laughs> it's happening, Mr. Rambo. You don't even notice it. No geysers. Never lucky. So these two are the only ones we have. We only have six more because of the uh, trait that we have. The very bad trait. I guess we could go this way to see what we got on the top right. Hello? There we go. Were any dupes available? No, one dupe is... So right now, since everything's cold, I don't take dupes at the moment because I don't have food. <laughs> no one's eating right now, man. But there's a, there's a queue already. There's a there's a line of people. At least Tasmadar, I believe. So you're you're behind Tasmadar. All right, still struggling uh, struggling to reach the top, but we got to reach the top. We want to see this is igneous. Oh, that's another biome. Okay, so it looks like the salt biome would have been the better choice. I should have went that way. I just saw the oxide here, and I was like, this is probably better. Hydrogen moves up top. It's not bad. Okay, we have another Terra biome right here. Everything here is uh, ice. Somehow this is not as cold, which is kind of impressive. The ice biome is, is warmer than the uh, 100k biome. Makes no sense, but uh, I'll live with it. 
Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. That's why I say you have to, uh, you have to wait behind Tasmadar. He's already in line. No salt in the biome, right? Oh, there's no salt in the salt biome? That's so weird. And there's no salt in the rust biome. Wow, is that modified to make it harder? They give you no salt. So that means I can't deoxidize rust, and this is technically useless. That's that's actually useless. I just got rust and nothing else. <laughs> is that one ton of chlorine per tile? Yep, classic, uh, classic Oni shenanigans. Classic Oni shenanigans. Rust can get melted into refined iron. Oof. Don't you have brine ice? Any salt water? Uh, let's see, we have regular water. We don't have liquefiables here as a category. Polluted water? No. This is, oh yeah, we do have brine ice. We do have brine ice. So we could desalinate this for water. If we somehow warm it up enough. <laughs> they pee out solid ice, man. I don't know what to tell you. There's there's no mess to clean up. Probably cold salt slush. Dude, don't say that, man. That'd be the worst geyser to get. <laughs> That'd be one of the worst geysers to get. Cold salt slush. Heard, heard, here. So right now we need to reach the top to get shovels. That's going to be our main food source. And once we get that, we could start rolling. But before we get that, we are struggling to get that. We need another cycle or two in order to get the digging skill. I'm going to try to work our way up from here though. So rusty oxidizer can get used after heating the brine ice and purifying the brine. Yeah, but that's a, that's, that's a struggle, man. Honestly. That's a tough time. Alright, I may also want to start... Pumping out the hydrogen. Because I do want it. That way the oxygen could just fill up the chambers. Alright, so I do want to mine this out. And then once I get to here, I do want to keep going up. All right, we'll go up to here. I want to get to this side to build some ladders. They're breathing, so there's a little bit of breathing issue. I want to pump up the hydrogen, though. But I don't have any way to store it yet. Because I'm going to need that hydrogen for food storage later on. All right, let's speed this up. So, no geysers on this side. I probably need to do more exploration, though. Like, I probably have an easy route going this way. Now, the problem is, is that that makes me have to build, uh, pump out more oxygen with the diffusers. But I think with the amount of algae we have, that's actually not a problem. <laughs> right? Because we're playing Classic Star. We have enough algae to last for, like, decades. Actually last forever. Uglarvis, what's good? I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. So if that's the case, I probably want to move down to here. Three, three. And then this goes out this way. Three, three, two. And then we get to see what's over here. Hopefully we get a water geyser that's hot water. Ideally, cool steam vent or a regular steam vent would probably be pretty nice. Salt water. This is going to freeze. <laughs> Dude, that's going to freeze. We just got water and it's going to freeze. Feels bad. Cool steam vent is nice. Legit actually said that. Doesn't sound like him. Dude, man. Cool steam vent would be amazing in this challenge. It still might produce ice, but it's, it's pretty legit, man. Stored in a vacuum. How would you make a vacuum without a water drop <laughs> that you could access properly? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not using the modded doors, man. 
I'm not using the modded doors. Seal 2 lock. Classic. Corner build? Yeah, but you can't build anything in a corner build outside of tiles. So you wouldn't be able to build anything inside the store. <laughs> Because not only that, it's bottle. You can't move bottles that easily in this game. And keep it in the bottle. It's possible, but it's like a weird strat. Dude, I should have went up the salt biome. That's a lot better. So I think what we might want to do is pump out the hydrogen from here into this room. And then... I need more oxygen up top. Uh, what's the best way to do this? What we could do is, like, seal up this wall and put a vent on the side and try to pressurize it. But I need to move this H2. Just use super coolant, I know, right? That would have been the strat. So we generate no heat, feels bad. That's technically a heat source. It's hard to uh, cool down water once it's in that stable temperature. All right, so here is everyone moving. The only thing we could do to kind of create space is to make a pocket so that the hydrogen has a spot to move up. And then this allows the oxygen to move in. That, that would honestly be the only thing we could do. To make this more feasible. The early game struggles though. We gotta, we gotta deal with this. And they're, yeah, they, they are holding their breath, right? Yep. Uh, so I have to deal with this. Uh, the only thing I could do for now is put an oxygen diffuser here. So let's get the power wires built. All right, and I think this means that I will eventually need an area as a dedicated hamster wheel farm. So I should set that up now. I should set that up now. We need an area for a dedicated hamster wheel farm. I need a hamster wheel farm, dude. I think we're going to need that. Made a mess. Feels bad. So we, we are lagging the geyser option, so not much we could really do. Is it also me, but is it weird that there's no seal 2 in any of these pockets? Y'all understand me when I'm saying that? There's no seal 2 here. Not even in liquid form. Like, what is this? This is so weird. Nothing in here, nothing in here, nothing in here. Oh, it all freezes to a solid. That's true, that's true. I thought it would only be a liquid form. That's true, it is solid, it is solid. I thought it was going to be in liquid. I was like, huh, it immediately flashes into solid. This makes that the base is really clean though, which is kind of nice. Dude, given the size of the map, I think I do open this. Is what I'm thinking right now. I might want to open the volcano. <laughs> it's looking kind of lucrative right now. So I want to get to here, right? Three, three, three. Give them something to do. You have big CO two patches in the rust bomb. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid that actually. <laughs> I don't want to go into there because of the CO two bombs. But I'm just looking through this, man. There's like no geysers at all. 
so I think that since we found these two, we need to just open them. Oh, the Wheeze Wards. They're going to turn off soon. We could keep going. I just don't think anything is going to be there. Maybe dig out the ice next to the volcano to melt it. I can't mine obsidian. I could go underneath to do it, but it doesn't really do anything. Because look at that. This is not even heating up the oxygen. The oxygen is at 25 degrees positive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's hot enough. I don't think it's hot enough. A generator up there probably would have been easier than a long wire. That's probably true. Oh, we have a hatch? Oh, he's right here. That's fine. He could chill over there. Actually, he better not eat the food. He's gotta go. I'm a fan of the long wire. I'm a fan of the long wire, too. Because the thing is, is that... If we build a generator up here, we will never get power. Because you would go up here, run the wheel, and then you'll be out of breath and you run back down. <laughs> so you wouldn't get power up there. I would have to build a generator, maybe a compromise would be like up here. Put wheels near where I'm digging, I see you. To be fair, 100, 1,200 kilograms of iron, multiple tier uh, tiles too, yeah. But as soon as the generator runs through oxygen, that's true, that's true. Disagree about the running, but I guess that's true. I don't know. It depends on uh, where we put it, I guess. But I disagree with you guys. <laughs> Because this guy mined two tiles and ran back down. Building a wheel up here would be a struggle. Building the algae diffuser here is already a struggle. This guy just caught his breath, made a mess, and then he's going to walk back down. <laughs> Damn it, man. Breath shenanigans. Compost would be a friend. It is. Compost is uh, pretty good for heat generation. I don't have any pea dirt though. Maybe I should have went the pea dirt route with the outhouses. So that we could have compost for heat. I have nothing but batteries. Yep, because it's not going to matter until we get insulated tiles. Can you move Oxalite up here, maybe? Probably. That could be an option. 400 kilograms is not bad. I see you, Banana Dude. I see you. I see you. It's too cold for me to mess to cause a mess. Do you have a plan for how to get liquid water for advanced research? That's actually what we're doing right now. The idea is we want to reach the surface so that we could use the heat from the meteors. It's it's too much to do. I know what I'm doing already. I hear all the suggestions. I'm not going to be doing any of them. I'm sorry to say it, but it's too many sh too many cooks in this in one kitchen. At that point, it, it's fine to ask the questions, but. You know, I'm not going to do any of them. Just just fair warning. We could talk about it, but it's it's not going to be something like legitimately. I'm not going to consider any idea. Because you got to understand there's like five, six, seven people talking all with different ideas. And it's like, if I were playing, that's great. You guys could play it, <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. I've already committed to the challenge where 
we're not going to use bathrooms because we couldn't get water to wash our hands anyways. So the germs were going to be a problem. So I didn't want to do uh, outhouses. And then it's like, well, you know, I didn't consider the compost, which is fine. Right? We live and we learn. It's just that I'm not going to double back and change everything right now. We're just going to waste time. Because then we won't get carnivore by then. Keep doing all these other things. Is there a command for the current challenge? No, there's not. Uh, I probably should make that. Basically, right now we're doing the 100k challenge, which is the map we're on is the 100k challenge map. Everything on average in the entire planetoid averages out to minus 173 degrees Celsius. And for the most part, it's cold. That means you can't grow food. Uh, all the critters die immediately from the cold temperatures, so you don't get food from them. And there is some uh, choice generation too. Uh, we don't get salt for some reason. We do get brine ice, so it's like really weird. And as a result, since it's so cold, all the water freezes into ice. And as a result, that means we can't research. Can't use bathrooms with plumbing. Water is frozen on the entire map. So we have a lot of challenges. Now the challenge for this game is the 100k challenge. And what that asks for is basically they're asking you to survive 100 cycles. For the most part, our idea for this is basically um, we want to reach the top of the map to get food, which is going to be from the shovels. And second, second thing we want is the heat from the meteors. The meteors at the top of the map generate heat at a fixed temperature because of the meteor showers on the base game. And we want to use that as a heat source any way we can. That way we could build something up top, get the water, and then we could start doing our things that we want, like doing super sustainable, doing other things that we want for the achievements, getting the research tech, maybe even getting proper plumbing. But we need the water because I want to get insulated tiles. Once you get insulated tiles, it's going to be a nicer time. So the goal is getting hot uh, metals and regolith from the meteors to bring down, then heat up the environment. Just seeing if I understand the strat. No, I want to be close to it so that they're a constant heat source. It doesn't matter what you bring down. The mass of the entire map is always going to win. So what I'm trying to do is I want to be close enough to the heat source where I could use that as kind of like a heater. So meteor shower heat, uh, we keep it up there, we build around it, and then use that to warm up the ice and then keep it warm. Because the problem with bringing stuff down is that's a job. And then the second problem is, is that once we bring it down here, it's going to cool down. And even if we do melt the ice, it's going to probably refreeze. Like, it's, it's really, really cold. You don't need water to cook, so I guess you don't necessarily need a ranch. And thus get water to get carnivore. Uh, no, you do need, you do need to ranch. I don't believe you get 20 shovels. At that point, you're probably trying to get lucky. Because the thing with the shovels is that you don't need to ranch them. You kill them on sight, but you do need to tame like the first couple of shovels you get early on in the cycle. Because what happens is that uh, you need the first few shovels to lay an egg. And then that egg needs to hatch. And that takes around 40 to 50 cycles for that entire sequence to work. Feeding a shovel, taming it, getting that reproductive chance up, and then having that lay an egg. You do need to do that a couple of times. And you want to get the shovels as early as you can. So that you have the leeway for that. So yeah, you could try to get 20 eggs without ranching them it's just hard to do so because you're going to need other tack that's a different route to go down because you won't be able to wrangle them or anything you would just kill them in sight and then that means you would have to have like oxygen breathing apparatuses uh to go outside because if you don't have that you know you're basically just gonna not be able to actually run that far on the surface You're going to move your whole base up to the heat and have a split base kind of thing early on. Kind of. Only for research. We're going to be doing it for the supercomputer only. Once we have the tech and we could insulate our base, we could actually start generating heat and maintaining it.
You won't have spoiling food technically. Yeah, it's true. Makes that easy. Megan messes. I tried to meme, didn't acknowledge my bad, Tarandra. I see you over there. I see you over there. Alright, so oxygen is here. Oxygen is going down. Okay, so this should be good enough. We could use the same line now to go up top. And then we'll just leave this be. So now that this is here, we could breathe and start working on this. Uh, we want to go up top. And then this is kind of here. And then hopefully above this is a space vacuum. I'm hoping that's the case. Sadly... Oh, can I build mini pods? I can't, right? I want to relocate the printing pod. Or we could just leave this and move the base up top and just live near the top so it's, it's better for us. The only thing down here we would want is algae. Maybe the volcanoes? All right, so the thing with this is that carnivore, you don't have to get, uh, like, actual food to be ranched and eating. You don't have to get any of that until cycle 50. Once you hit cycle 50, you need to have everything rolling. Meaning that you have to have the critters already tamed and brushed, and you have to have incubators ready. If you're doing the normal strat. You basically have around 50 cycles to get everything set up. And once you get it set up, you have to have everything working. Okay, so they don't have the dig skill. <gasps> we have it. Abyssalite, let's go. Hulk, Bravo, Ranching. Frieza, we'll give you Grilling. We don't need to analyze. And then we'll give Tinkering right here. Okay, cool. So now we could do this. Dr. Duckling is just idle. Okay, let him do its thing. Now, let's do some floors. Let's do this over here. We want this as well. And then we want this. We need the floors. We need the floors. Mighty Stoosh, what's good? Red Knight, how are you? I see you guys over there. Hope you guys are doing all right. I think you're right. Pure shovel cooling like that wouldn't work. I'm not sure if the number of shovels on the surface is consistent. I think it varies. It does. Which is why I don't think that's going to be a good viable strat. It's, it's like RNG. You would have to probably supplement it and get lucky with like Pakus or something. It'll still work though. Hey, it came for Oni, stayed for Mamba. Thank you so much, Red9. Thank you so much for the six months. Enjoy the emo T20 dice ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. A Uglar Vis SE over there coming in with the resub hype. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. That's a good copy pasta. Yeah, man. Only way to do it. Only way to do it. That was uh the copy pasta was asked of me because every streamer has a copy pasta that they uh, verbally say. Right? It's classic streamer shenanigans. Normal stuff, normal stuff. All right, so the ice on top of the map, or is this another ice biome? I mean, he is too legit. Hey, I see the title. Wait, someone is suffocating? Ah, uh, you went up instead of down. You'll be fine. Climb down. I see the title, but is this the mod colony you were talking about? Yes. This is the uh, mod colony with the minus 173 degrees average. It's very cold. It is very cold. So since it's 173, we actually don't have uh, water. All the water is frozen. So that means I can't use supercomputer to research. I don't have bathrooms because when we pee, it immediately freezes. Even the CO2 is freezing as we breathe out. So as a result, we don't have a normal colony playthrough right now. It's very weird. So we want to get to the surface of the map because that is going to be where all of the heat is from the meteor showers. 
But yeah. We gotta do what we gotta do. We're gonna let them make the mess, eat the stress, and we'll be alright. But yeah, we're gonna be running out of food soon, so I'm a little bit worried. Good thing there's a lot of hydrogen for super sustainable, yeah. That's the only thing that's kind of like, that's not that bad. Having the hydrogen is kind of nice. I do want to make sure we don't lose the hydrogen though, but I don't have any uh, things for that yet. I can't get the reservoirs because I don't have water. Talking about kidney stones peeing on ice? Yep, it's pretty bad. It's not much hydrogen. Nope, it's not a lot, theoretically. It's in grams. It's just taking up a big footprint. Just taking up a big footprint. Can't dupes freeze? No. Dupes do not take damage or anything on the lower end spectrum. Only when it's hot is that it starts becoming a problem. How'd you get stuck, buddy? There we go. Alright, so we just need to uh, build out their ladder path. All right. Hey, Aresia, coming in with the raid. Thanks so much for the raid, Aresia. I see you over there. Shoutouts to him. How are you? And how was the streams? Playing some Oni, how was that? Talk to us about the streams. What were you guys doing today? And hope you had a nice stream. A gold rack. Gold rack coming in with the prime immediately after the follow. What a legend. Came in, followed, and then immediately subbed with prime. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes, D20 dice, ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. We appreciate the support. Welcome to the city. Hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you so much. Aricia, how was the streams though? I see you over there. Talk to us about that. Hope you had a good one. Leo Far is farting. What, did he get flatulent dupes? When used for generating power, it looks like much on the map, but is it? Yeah, it's not a lot. Like, if you just accumulate all the amount of gas, this is like a couple of seconds of uh, like two generators running. <laughs> it doesn't last for that long. Thanks for context about the challenge. I'm pumped to watch you play this one. Hey, gotcha, Red Knight. I hope you enjoy. It's going to be uh, fun stuff. So we actually found the Iron Volcano. And it's open. And it's erupting iron, but it's like it's losing to the map. The map is just way too cold. So we're opening up a volcano over here. So we're gonna open up a volcano, so hopefully it starts warming up the area. But it's it's uh it's taking some time. It's taking some time. We're good. Fixing a lot of things that broke on a second planet. Staving off sleep deprivation. Dude, bad sleep that is real, dude. You gotta make sure you catch up on that. Because one day it will creep up. And you're gonna be like, why am I so tired? I don't know why. So watch out for that, man. Watch out for that. So this is minus 173 carnivore. Wow, yeah, this is what we're doing. We're trying to hit to the surface right now. Trying to reach to the top, digging our way through. And once we get to the shovels, I think it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, I do need obsidian mining, though. Which is something I'm hoping to get soon. And then, uh, yeah, need to breach the surface very, very quickly. Grab the shovel babies. Ah, I messed that up. Okay, so the pattern's like this. And then we'll see from here, and then hopefully we can dig up from here. There we go, there we go. Is this rhyme? Or is this a mod that makes it cold? I'm playing on a, a modded map. So Rhyme gets to minus 60. I'm getting to minus 180. So this is a modded version, uh, Damsel, that's called the 100k challenge. Uh, you're not actually supposed to survive on this. The challenge is just living for 100 cycles. Uh, instead of just doing that, though, I am going to tack on the achievement Carnivore. So we're going to be trying to do the 400,000 KCALs in 100 cycles as well. Oh, okay, cool. You can survive. I believe in you. Yo, man, I hope so. <laughs> we got some bad modifiers. We have Geo Dormant. The geysers in this version is supposed to be the saving grace. And without the geysers, it's a tough time. So I'm hoping it's okay. <laughs> I'm hoping it's okay. 
but we don't have the geysers, or as many as we would like. And it's the classic map, so it's very large. Yes, we have two right now, so far. Need uh, ranching to wrangle, though uh, meteors for heat. I think legit strategy is space space. Yep, space space. It's probably going to be what I think is the most optimal. Holy Trinity, according to the Steam title. Yep, the only achievements you could fail, basically. It's the only achievements you could fail. That's 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 literally what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, there's also a uh, no geysers mode, which is uh, not what we're playing at the moment. We're not playing on the no geysers mode. All right, so we have the uh, long ladder shaft here that we're going to be needing to reach the top. I probably don't need to dig anymore. I just want to work on the ladder, to be honest. No geysers seem so much harder yet. Oh my god. Yep. No geysers. We're going to attempt that one day. We will. We will. So it's going to be... Uh, we'll see if we, we fail a couple times. We'll have to see. I want to see if there's any achievements I missed by the cycle 100 count. And we'll see if this is a viable strat. The beginning is hard. Yeah, the beginning is supposed to be the hardest part about this challenge. The beginning is supposed to be the hardest part. I can't tack up. Water can't melt. Can't really do too much. Uh, so what you want to do is, if you don't have geysers, is you want to do what I'm doing. Going to the top of the map to get heat from the meteor showers. Once you have that, you could start melting ice into water to reasonably tack up. And then you need the water to get insulated tiles. So once you have insulated tiles, it gets a lot easier. But you need to get the water tech first, which is the hard part. And then after that, you can start using things like batteries, compost, um, kilns, and things like that. To start generating heat, and then you could keep it inside instead of dissipating it to the very, very cold tiles on the outside of the base. There is another very advanced strat known as the vacuum walls is another strat we could attempt. But I didn't want to consider it because it's very time consuming. And if we were to do that, we would run out of food. That's the problem. If we were to go the vacuum route strat. I, I almost lost all Nosh Beans when I uh, mined out the only planet who had them, so I wouldn't have been able to get GMO AOK -okay achievement. Oh, wait, wait, no, you can. I believe, wait, wait. No, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. You do need Nosh Beans for that. Yeah, you're right, you're right. You might have been able to get that from a printing pod thing, though. Actually, I'm not sure. If you found the seed before, maybe. But honestly, they should change GMO AOK. -okay. They should make it so that you don't have to do all the plants. There's no Nosh Beans in a printer. Oh, that's that's that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I was I was hoping though that they would have uh like not all the plants, but like something like 8 out of 10. I know there's more than 10 plants. But they need to make it so that you don't have to do every plant and it's from a selection of the list. Because GMO AOK, -okay, man, it takes forever to get that achievement. I would I would argue that's like a really stupid achievement. Not a fan. The pips are going to die, so we're not going to bring them in. Noshed. I see you over there. Just brought gas grass home last night. Nice, nice. Hopefully the gas grass is uh, has the liquid chlorine already. I see over there Napolini's gonna feed some uh, gassy moose. Fun times, always a fun time. All right, so there's a little bit of breathing issues. We're gonna move the diffuser up. Gotta push away all the H2. No GMO AOK, -okay, screw the moves. Oh, you're doing it for GMO AOK. -okay. I did that too. I did that too. The funny thing was is that I just put that next to the reactor. Immediately next to it. And it worked. <laughs> oh man. Dude, this is taking my dupes forever to reach the top though. 
when I realized only three stale beans were left, I barely got them home in the freezer in time. Dude, that that's kind of that's kind of like what happened to me. I got in the Baytor mod playthrough. I was trying to farm the Nosh beans for the curried beans, and we got them. Everyone was eating curried beans in the colony, but dude, it was everything was like single digits, eight percent stale, nine percent stale. And I was like, I'm happy. I have a freezer that freezes immediately. <laughs> like, I, if I had the other freezer, I wouldn't have gotten deep freeze in time. That would have sucked. What are your options for oxygen until we get tech and water? Uh, algae. We're playing on classic base game vanilla. There's enough algae in the, the map to last us for 500 cycles. Like, I'm not even worried about oxygen. There's so much algae on the map because we're playing base game. Like, look at this. And this is no longer hot. Like, dude, dude, dude. And there's more of those biomes. There's even the uh, biomes here with the slime. And since we're playing on the 100 Kelvin challenge, there's no germs. There's no germs, man. Everything's cold. It's good times. Oxygen is included, yeah. But you know what isn't? Water. And that's because water sucks. It really, really sucks. Gotta get some oxygen over here. I don't remember. Algae distiller requires water research, but not much. Uh, algae distiller. Algae. I looked that up, man. Oh, it requires water. It's in the same thing as the uh, water sieve. Water sucks, man. It does. It's so hard to melt in this game. I thought so to you. Yep, feels bad. Oh, this is actually liquid oxygen. I didn't think this would happen. It's actually here. Okay, that's bad. If it actually gets that cold coming down, <laughs> that's not the business. All right, someone made a mistake. Who's suffocating? It's you. Can we do this? So you don't die? Thank you. Come on, man. Come on down. Ah, right, there we go. So now we want to do this. I got so scared yesterday when I was starting a new playthrough. The Critter Morph Machine showed up as refined iron at first. Oh yeah, that happens. The Somnium Synthesizer shows up as all his glass as well, or all diamonds. It looks the same. It's like when you load it for the first time, it looks weird. It happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. That does worry me sometimes. Like when I'm loading in one of my vacuum rooms and it looks like there's a lot of CO2 inside, I immediately panic sometimes. Like, what is that? That's supposed to be a vacuum. Oh, that was just loading animation. Oh, man. <laughs> it gets me every time, man. It gets me every time. Is you know, Sai, how are you, though? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a uh, good Thursdays. Hope everyone in chat is having a good one, man. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoy the oxygen not included. Of course, if you guys are not familiar with the 100k challenge, 100 Kelvin translates to minus 173 Celsius. And it is a extremely cold map. Uh, along with the cold map, you can see uh, right here how cold it is. We're going to be doing carnivore, locavore, and super sustainable. The best ways we can. Fun stream, definitely enjoying. Hey, glad you guys are, man. Glad you guys are. No Transformers yet. We'll get that soon. All right, so I think we'll do this battery bank setup. Oh, no, this is the wrong spot. It should be here. Oh, yeah, wait. No, we do the wheels first because we have to have a weird strat. And then I think we do have these here, though. And then I need transformers. Because they are more that meets the eye. Okay, we need water for that. Okay. No, I know that. I know that, Banana Dude. I This is for something else. This is for something else. I know what you're talking about. 
but no, we're we're doing something else. <laughs> we're doing something else. Batteries, jumbo or small, generate the same amount of heat. So a lot of the times you want to build more smaller batteries than no, just one large one if you want the heat generation. Vice versa if you don't want it. But we're doing something else with this. We're doing something else with that. When are we going to get this space? Okay, so let's see where's the top of the map. Space exposure. Also, it's like right here. I guess that's pretty good. Yes, transformers give you heat without wasting power. All right, all right. That got built. We have oxygen over here. It's pretty good. Can't use the critter flux. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. And we can mine through abyss light now, so that's pretty good. So we want to just keep on going up the best we can. Someone made a mess. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Can batteries even do much? Uh, when they're insulated, yes. Uh, the battery strat's actually what you do on Rhyme. So what a lot of times, if you play on Rhyme, uh, what you want to do is this strat. You want to do this, or even something like this. And then you want your farm tiles in between. And then that's how you grow mule wood in the early game. So if you don't know about shovels, don't know about ranching, this is how you're supposed to actually beat Rhyme as a new player. So by having the batteries staggered and having your farms in between, you kind of have an easier time generating heat. Of course, you have to do a lot of other things, but at least you have access to water. So that means you could immediately get some of the higher attack that helps you out, like insulated tiles. But yeah, that's, that's kind of more like a Rhyme thing. It's too cold for us to do that here until we get a uh, better insulation. Gun Griffin missed the layout. Is this a stagger? Just a stagger. There's a 2-2 two, two stagger and there's a 1-1 one, one stagger. And you just put your batteries like that. Thunder boxes or farm tiles. Up to you. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. If you want to use planter boxes, it'd be the same thing. But yeah, this, that's just a simple design you would probably want to gravitate towards if you're attempting Rhyme. And you want to farm. That's only if you want to farm. You, you could completely ignore farming and go straight into ranching. You just have to understand that you can't grab too many dupes in the beginning. Yeah, you need the labor and the uh, duplicate power, but you can't provide food in the beginning if you're doing ranching starts. Or at least not that much. So you have to minimalize the amount that you get. All right, going up top to here. Oxygen diffusers doing their thing. This is a good pocket because this is potentially going to hold all the hydrogen in here. I should actually mine this out then as a result because I'll never break this. So the hydrogen here should stay here, which should allow me to uh, have more oxygen come out because the hydrogen is just going to move upwards and it's going to chill around here. Ah, uh, but then he has to hold his breath. You can breathe, buddy. You got this. You got this. Oh, can you not mine the, uh... Oh, you can't. Only Marl can. Alright, let the hydrogen occupy so that the oxygen moves up. That's what we're hoping for. If you play 500 k counts, you could take one more duplicate and even one with ranching starts. Rhyme has both Muckroo and Hexalent, but uh, you have to dig around for that. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, solid ice rain. Feels bad, boys. We need to move up, though. We need to move up. Oh, look at that sand. We got to clear that out. I should mine out the seal too as well. All right, still not close to the top yet. Still not close to the top.
but we need to reach the top. We still need to reach the top. I think we have around 20 cycles. I could probably get the ranching tech stuff. Oh, you know what we could start doing? Rock crushing. Because I will need the metals. That is one thing I haven't considered. Uh, this is at 6. This is how much? 240? Yeah, that's actually fine. Alright, we're not going to run these wheels. I'm just setting this up for, us, for the design we're going to do there. Alright, so we have more space for H2, potentially. Hopefully. It's going up. This is 1,200, so hopefully there's space for them. Maybe mine this out, create more space. We need a breach to top. We could go through this way, but we can mine through Abyssal Light, so we're just going to go straight up and down. Take the dirt, sure. 4,000 kcals, oof, I know. There's probably a little bit of food I could grab with the buried objects here. Because we are on the Terra start, so the buried objects are probably going to be either Muckroot or Hatches. So we have food if we really need to try to find some. But yeah, you can't make mush bars. Because <laughs> the water is all frozen. And you need water for mush bars. It's so jank, man. There's no critters for us to grab. And chlorine gas vents. Haha. -ha. That immediately spawns solid chlorine. Classic. Okay, so we kind of just leave that there. It's trying to generate heat, but it's struggling. Dupes are just peeing on the ground. Stress is managed now with the Great Hall. It's not too bad, not too bad. So that's actually why we didn't take that many dupes. We are low on food. Alright, so the natural thing to do is to look for the buried objects. There's a lot of dots here we can look through. A lot of dots in the ice that we could look through as well. So hopefully we just dig through that and get the food. While the people up top just build the ladders that we need. We need to keep on moving up. Hopefully this just goes like this. And then we have the regolith up top. I want to use that as a heat source. Another thing we could try to do... I mean, the, the Abyssal Light is cold, though. I'd have to try this map. Dude, it's, it's only on base game. You can't play this with a DLC. Heads up. But it's it's it's, uh, it's a good time, man. The modded maps. I'm kind of a fan of it. Yeah, someone said 100 dupes, 100k once. If that's take a dupe every 3 cycles, really? That means you have to survive 300 cycles. Because you get a dupe every cycle, right? <laughs> I mean, every three cycles, right? So it's like, you you get 33 in the 100. It'd be like that, though. Alright, so we picked up some muckroot. Good stuff. Uh, we'll continue digging. Might as well. What the hell? Why is Terra at minus 200? We're playing on a modded map called the 100k challenge. So this is base game. And this is your vanilla map on Terra. Now, we have Geo Dormant and Metal Rich, but the 100k challenge makes the entire planet 173 degrees negative. So since everything is 173 negative, um, you have a lot of struggles. I have no water, right? All the water freezes, so I can't use supercomputer to research. Uh, I can't use water for mush bars. Duplicates breathe out liquid or solid CO2. Duplicants pee out solid ice instead of polluted water. And uh, yeah, it's a difficult time. Liquid CO2 on the ground. Everyone's getting soggy feet. And uh, yeah, we're trying to reach to the top where the meteorite should be hitting us. And we want to grab the heat from that. We got lucky with the volcano here. And with the iron volcano here. But guess what? They are not even making a dent to the temperature. Like we have iron here. It's not doing anything. <laughs> it's like, what am I supposed to do with this? This is not heating anything up. I mean, it's free metal. This is free igneous rock once it erupts. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not enough. Well, composters help. I don't have I don't have polluted dirt. I don't have polluted dirt. I don't have outhouses because I didn't uh, think about it. I mean, I could grab outhouses now, but we don't really need it. 
So the problem with outhouses is that since I don't have water, I can't wash my hands. So I will either have to deal with people getting food poisoning or deal with people making a mess that honestly doesn't do anything. So I thought that no bathrooms made sense. Do meteor respond if you can't see the area? I uh, don't know that. No, I believe not. Gotcha. I just figured out outhouses are free of plumbing. Germs would die from the temperature. Uh, don't your duplicates always get germs just using the building, though? That's the thing. Don't they get germs regardless? It's just from using the building. Not so much that they have to, uh, you know, have to use... I don't know what the logic was, but you once you use the building, you're, you're dirty. But you do get Peter. Wouldn't it stress them out if they wet their pants? It does. It actually does stress them out. Which is why we have to try to balance it out with other things like, uh, you know, room bonuses, things like that. Alright, so we need to go up top. We have food now, situated. Got a little bit of hatch meat, a little bit of muckroot. Uh, we're playing base game. There's no radiation in this game. <laughs> All good, Dark Matter. Sounds like you need a cup of coffee. That reminds me. I should refill my cup of coffee. Germs would die from the dupes being too cold, wouldn't they? Uh, the duplicates themselves' body temperature would have to be minus 25, I believe. I might be wrong with that, but I think that's how it's supposed to work. So, because the germs are on the dupes, and the dupes themselves have a separate heat property thing, right? Like, they're basically a building. So, if I look at a dupe, give me one second. They're at, oh wow, yeah, they're minus 137. Yeah, the germs would die. The germs would actually die. They would spawn on them and then slowly die off. Because even though it's really cold, I don't think they immediately get zapped. Because you would spawn coming out of the outhouse with germs on you. And they could move impressive. I know, right? Dupes are, uh, they become a frozen friend. <laughs> this is what happens in the frozen friends' minds when they're asleep in the cryostasis chamber. So they're eating the meat, yep. Yeah. Eating the meat. Doesn't really matter, though, because the meat is uh, barely rotting. Hey, Ghost Rider coming in. Thank you so much for the uh, 12 months, one year strong. What a legend. I see you over there, Ghost Rider. Enjoy the emote, T20 Dice Ad Free Viewing. Don't forget that legit suck that. But you know what it is. Thank you so much for the one year of support, Ghost Rider. Hope you are doing well. 100k challenge is how frozen friends are made. Yep. Funny part of the map is that you already have liquid oxygen. Yeah, man. If this was a speed run to get liquid oxygen, I already got it. Let's go, boys. This is classic, so what's the deal with the rocket engine? Playing classic first time can build steam engine, but the second engine is uh, super picky. Uh, the end game rocket engine stuff is there's no choice. You have to progress a certain base game line. You go steam to petroleum to hydrogen, and there's no other route. So the base game rocketry is forced upon you in the sense that you get no options. Even though it kind of feels like they are options, there really isn't. And what happens is that, you know, you have to go down and do the certain route. If you don't do the certain route of uh, progression with rockets, it's not going to work properly. So yeah, it's, it's weird. Uh, rocket fuel calculation is completely different. And if you don't consider that, you're going to have a horrible time. So what I mean when I say rocket fuel calculation is the mass of the fuel that you add on. What's the second engine that uses solid fuel? That's not an engine. That's called the booster. You actually could skip that if you've done the rocket launches properly. But if you did it improperly and didn't have the right ratio to your rockets, you have to build that or send a rocket to the same planet just to get minor research. But for the most part, that's uh, the iron booster. It's not an engine. That's something you add on top of the engine. Kind of like a two-stage booster. I think they scrapped that idea based off, uh, off of uh, how rocketry has no effect with that now. You know, there's no such thing as second-stage booster in DLC. 
So I think that was like an idea that never really came to fruition. But I think that's what you're talking about. Black coffee. Pure energy and brain juice. Let's go. It's a booster? I thought it was an engine. No, it's a booster. Uh, so, I mean, you're vaguely describing it, so that's what I think it is. But in the base game, you only have a couple of entities. You have three engines. You have the steam engine, petroleum engine, and then the hydrogen engine. Outside of that, you have a solid booster. That's, I believe, what it's called. That you have to fuel in with, I think it's iron? I'm not sure. Or fertilizer. But that's the booster. And then you have oxidizers, which is different. Oxidizers are because you have no oxygen in space, so you can't have combustion in space. So the oxidizers are because uh, you need to have oxygen to create fire. And those could be filled with solid oxalite or fertilizer if you're playing with the DLC. But yeah, uh, I would recommend trying to find the name of that. That way we could make sure we're all on the same page. But vaguely describing it like that, I might be saying something else or describing another thing that's not what you're talking about. It'd be a lot easier to make it clear like that if we, you know, we would know. Can you make steam for an engine on this planet? Yes, you can. All you need to do is unlock drywall. All you have to do is unlock drywall. And then you can just build it in the space vacuum with the meteorites. I'm in! Mafic rock! Alright, we saw the shovel. I saw some in there. Alright, alright. So, this ice biome is not the business. This ice biome is honestly not the business. So we're gonna want to get rid of all the ice here. Oops. All right, soon, boys. Shovels are soon. It was water, liquid, oxygen in a cold biome. It's all liquid oxygen. Oxygen, liquid oxygen, liquid oxygen, and liquid oxygen. Classic liquid oxygen. Oh, I was mistaking a booster for an engine. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. So that was the solid booster. Yeah, it's not an engine. That's not an engine. But yeah, it's, it's uh, something that you would only need to use one time because you didn't build the correct ratio of research modules. Now that's something that as a new player you weren't expected to get right, but once you get experienced, you could completely skip and avoid the booster if you have enough research modules on your initial steam engine rocket for the first two planetoids. It's, it's one of those things that's like, once you become knowledgeable enough, you never actually uh, deal with that. You could skip the petroleum engine if you're a mask. I mean, you could. It's just a lot slower that way. But technically, he's right. <laughs> technically, he's right. They ain't wrong with that, man. Alright, so this is good. I might want a large jumble battery for now. And let's put it up top. This makes more sense. And that's because I think uh, we want to have this to keep this rolling. And then we want to reach the top soon. Can you even create a system that would create a runway runaway temp zone? Uh, runaway temp zone. That means a temp zone that's going to ignore the temperature of everything around it. I'm not sure what a runaway temp zone is. Scaly one, what's good? Nice to see you over there. Hope you're doing well. How are you? Just wondering, no cooking the meats. Uh, no water. Right? Well, first things first, I don't have anyone with a cooking skill. No, wait, I do. And then, can I cook? I can cook. Ah, not bad. No cooking the meats. I am out of meats. <laughs> I killed four hatches. I will cook the meat, and I want to. And you're right, I should do that soon. I just don't have enough meat uh, stored yet, so I wasn't thinking about it. I will cook the meat. That's technically uh, always going to be better for me. Doing well, another three-day weekend. Nice. Awesome, awesome. How are you? We are peeing our pants and breathing out solid CO2 on the 100k challenge. Uh, volcano and Iron Volcano. And they're producing heat. You know, I say that. They're trying to produce heat, but they're not really. They're trying their best, though. 
They're trying the best. But yeah, the the oxygen is like, yeah, man, I'm staying negative. <laughs> it's it's not affecting anyone. So we're waiting for this to erupt to generate heat, but it's still taking some time. Instead, we're gonna go to the top. All the way up. We gotta go all the way up. Free refined metal, yep, 100 percent How are your dupes live at minus 143 Fahrenheit? No, 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 Fahrenheit. This is Celsius. What are you even talking about? <laughs> It's 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 Celsius, dude. It's not Fahrenheit. Does that make that worse? <laughs> Does that make that worse? Does it's in Celsius? But for the most part, my dupes are uh, the robots, baby. They're just rovers with a uh, new clay skin. I hate to say that, man. That sounds gross. There, it's definitely fighting the cold. It just takes a while. Yeah, it takes a while. And of course, the mass difference between the tiles probably makes it very very hard. All right, we're going to spill out the liquid oxygen. It's going to be good times. <laughs> we want to mine out the ice so that we could half the mass. And then hopefully that means the oxygen that flows up to here doesn't melt. That's actually what I'm hoping for. And then it looks like we need space for the hydrogen. Should we do the hydrogen wall again on the side? Hold the hydrogen into the weird wall. Otherwise, I would have my oxygen diffuser move up, but then potentially liquefy. Okay, that would be minus 289.4 Fahrenheit. Damn! <laughs> that's, uh, that's cold, man. Oh, yes, look at that! Warmth, boys! We're so close! This is the first time I've seen nothing that was, uh... I mean, this is the first time I see something that's not blue. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. But no, man. We found some warmth. Let's go. So, listen up. Here's a story about a little guy that lives in the blue world. And all day and all night, everything he sees is just blue. Like him. Inside and outside. Dude, that song is so fitting for this. Minus 77. They're blue, all right. Looking like Smurts. And they're all blue in this blue world. That song fits so well. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I know, right, Napolinis? I, I did it very badly. I was, I was off key. I think I'll be fine. I sang off key. You know how it is. Oh, dude, the liquid oxygen is spilling. And it's pressurizing. No. We're going to get popped eardrums. <laughs> no. All right. It should be fine. All right. So let's go across this way. Let's mine that out. Mine this out. Mine that out. Let that get to work. So, of course, we're mining the ice to half the mass. That way it's uh, easier to deal with. Does anyone besides very casual players actually play this game Fahrenheit? I played it Celsius because out of the box, the game was uh, in Celsius. So as a result, you know, I just kind of was like, yeah, I don't want to play Fahrenheit. <laughs> not not that Fahrenheit is wrong or anything like that. It's just like, hey, man, if the game plays in Celsius, I should just play like that as well. So I didn't really care. But I will say that, yeah, you kind of have to go out of your way and change it to Fahrenheit. I didn't mind it though. I kind of looked at it as a game mechanic. Oh yeah, Celsius. We'll learn that today. It's fine. Pop your drums. This is done the day in the life of a dupe. Hulk keeps peeing his pants. Hulk not smart. Hulk smash. And nothing else. Nah, man. Nothing wrong with Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's cool. I can't hate on Fahrenheit. I can't wait for the warmth though, man. Oh God. It's hard to hold in the pee. All right, man. All right, all right. We'll get you guys some bathrooms or something. Think about that. Look at this heat source. Nope, it's not a heat source. It's trying to be a heat source though. 
All right, so the ladder is important. They're going to be mining out the other areas. Would it be like this? I guess that works. And then if we build this, we could build more of this. Peeing Icicle, that's exactly what they're doing, Hathor GG. Welcome on in, Hathor GG. Hope you're doing well. Welcome on in. What kind of mood penalty do we have for this temp? Uh, cold air and soggy feet. Because they're stepping in liquid carbon dioxide. Cold air should be one of them. Oh, there's no cold air? Wow. Wait a second. Is that a modifier that's relative to their body temperature? I used to have that as one of my stress modifiers. Soggy feet, yeah. Soggy feet sleeping, yeah. Liquid seal too. How are they not getting cold air debuff? I was getting that earlier. The air was too cold. But it might be because their body temperature is the same temperature as the area now. So they don't get they don't get the cold air debuff. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> they actually do get used to the cold, dude. Oh, that's gross. The RPing. I really admire Fahrenheit as a unit of measurement based on the oh kind of cold to oh pretty hot. I see Apple Creva. It makes more sense because uh, it's, it's you know the change in one degree Celsius could mean a lot versus Fahrenheit. It's like there's more leeway. There's more gradualness with the temperature. It's more exact. I wonder if that works with heat. Ice people. Mm, I don't think so. Because the duplicates actually start taking damage over a certain number. So it's like, I don't know if that's actually the case. Why are they taking the long way up? Dude. What are my dupes doing? <laughs> what are my dupes doing? Why are they taking the long way? Climbing up the ladder is faster. Ah, come on. Duplicate AI. All right, we're going to lock the door so that they have to force up the ladder well. Look at that. They're so much faster up the ladder instead of just climbing. All right, man. We're locking this door, dude. Thug life. All right, please don't go down this way anymore. <laughs> yes, go up the ladder. It's a lot faster that way, which is why we wanted that strat. Maybe minus 80 dupe start. What the hell? What is wrong with you? How'd you get up there? Okay, that's impressive. We'll take that though. All right, so guess what? More liquid oxygen. Classic dupe shenanigans. Well... Either way, we gotta just mine this out. Let the hydrogen come in. Oxygen, hydrogen doing their thing. Dude, this area is gonna be a nightmare to go through. Oh, are you stuck? Nope, you're fine, you're fine. You have problems thinking too if you were at minus 150. Yeah, man. I'd be thinking to myself, it's time to go to sleep. I'm tired. What happens if you drink liquid O2? I mean, aside from getting frostburn on your intestines. <laughs> like, to drink liquid O2, you'd be getting wrecked, man. Oh, this guy just peed his pants. Feels bad. Store your tissues. Oh, you're talking about the guy that used the wrong unit of measurement for one of the uh, the rocket launches, right? And they had the failed launch as a result. Also, it would expand. You go boom. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, doesn't that expand? Isn't that a bad time? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, literally, isn't that a bad time? Is that what we call not the business? <laughs> that was not the business, as they say in the business. Be a bad time. Makes sense, makes sense. 
Is the plan to drop regolith on that ice? No, this ice is too cold. Uh, we want to bring ice to the regolith. So what we want is to mine out the cold regolith and potentially find background tiles here. And then we want to drop that into that. Because this is only minus 100. This is a lot easier to deal with. Now, once we get drywall, we could build with the regolith a little bit easier because we could use the space exposure to our advantage. But we need to get water for research. And then we have to build the supercomputer out here, do all the supercomputer stuff. I'm mining out the ice so that the cold energy doesn't uh, constantly melt our oxygen. And then I'm hoping some of the regolith helps us out. I might move the regolith into here, but I, didn't, I think that's a little bit tough. What I want to do is eventually mine this up with walls. And then hope that the gas exchange to my solid walls right here isn't that big of a deal. That'd be pretty nice. One, two, three, four. Oh, zero kick house. We could survive three cycles. But at the same time, it means I need to go through this. Go through the buried objects. And then the buried objects ends up being food. Food is always good. And then we got some more. So the buried objects are going to be things like muckroot or hatches. And then we'll just kill them for some food. There's some up top as well. But uh, I'm not really too worried about that. I thought transformers keep you from drawing more power than your wires can handle. I can still bump into the red on my wires. Uh, it depends. So that's possible if you used a large transformer and then a conductive wire. So the conductive wire... Uh, only holds 2k, but then your large power transformer has 4k. It shouldn't if you use the 1k small transformer and then a small wire. You could also use two small transformers into a conductive wire, because 1k plus 1k equals 2k, so that you guarantee to not overdraw. I, a lot of the times, use a large one because I, I, I want to say I manage the power a little bit better. And because of that, it's, it's easy, but... I could see how it looks easy and then you still run into problems. <laughs> I could see that happening. But yeah, for the most part, uh, the large one can overload because it's a 4K to a 2K. Oh, you were using a large let it set to 2K, but I guess it wasn't working. Maybe. Uh, maybe it's just not coded properly because the transformers are weird they charge every few ticks and basically what that what that means is that in one second there's a couple of individual instances of it getting uh intervals of power it's it's weird uh transform uh power draw is weird it's it's different from batteries slightly but for the most part um it could be a maybe yeah it could be just a broken mod all right, now the problem with this is that I need to be able to go outside and I don't have any tiles that I could build that stops this shovel guy from causing problems. So how do I want to do this? I have refined iron. Oh, but I don't have any tiles that use that. When do I get metal tiles? <laughs> I need metal tile. Oh, I need water for that. Use doors, yeah. Hello? 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 Where am I? Where am I? Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ, I don't know where I went to. And the shortcut to the printing pod wasn't working. Well, there we go. I did. I was hitting H, but it wasn't going to the printing pot. And I was like, okay, this is really weird. I'm just staying in the darkness for some reason. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I did, though. I was mashing H, and the camera wasn't moving. So I was like, yep, yeah, I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here. 
Yeah, fresh from the volcano refined iron. I think that means we are going to have to use manual airlocks. Oh no! They dig through this. It has to be pneumatic. Oh, that sucks. That is what it is. Alright, we'll make a design for this. Uh, let's go to the left. Alright, speed this up. We want to mine up up top. There's a little bit of a breathing issue because everything is liquefying. Uh, you know what the easy thing is probably? Probably seal this up and then create a vacuum tile so that all the hydrogen kind of just escapes. Liquid O2 lock? No. No, no liquid lock. We're just going to have to let the gas out. So we're going to have to just use a regular door. You keep hitting that instead of G. Oh, we're starving? Oh, come on, really? Uh, hmm. Actually starvation, okay. We need you guys mining, boys, let's go. So how much are we at? 900 and 900. Okay, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. We should get some food here. Muckroot, let's go. Some people are eating. Let's go. The people that are starving. Hey, oh, they made a mess still. Alright, no more yellow alert. They could sleep. Hulk probably gets to eat. No one's starving anymore. Let's go. Food? 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 Technically food. It's gotta go, though. Feels bad. Oh, you, you can't breathe in oxygen? Oh, he's breathing in the polluted oxygen. Okay. Alright, mine this out. Get some more muckroot. Oh, I got a mealwood seed. It was bad. Muckroot. Okay, cool. 800k cows. Got some more right here. There's one right there and one right here. I just don't want to break the vacuum. <laughs> Such a weird thing. Alright, more muckroot. Alright, it looks like they'll be fine soon. Alright, so back up to here. We want to mine this. We want to mine that. I want the wall going to the left. So... We're going to do a weird design. I want to mine this out first. So let's not do the right side. So that all the ice falls down. So I don't have to deal with it. Okay. We have 6,000 k cows. We got food, boys. Not bad, not bad. Grab all the meal wood, do the things with it. Cycle 28. We're getting close. We're getting close to potentially not winning even wet carnivore. <laughs> oh man. Only good news is that I don't have to worry about uh, food rotting in this playthrough. Fighting the puff light, let's go. Oh, oxygen. Oh, it's in milligrams, so there's no uh, heat transfer. And then it's an oxygen issue again. Yeah, this is just way too cold. 186. That's insanely cold. Like, the oxygen is literally just liquefying when it gets to that point. So even if I put an oxygen diffuser here, I don't think it's going to help. Could a few temp shift plates flash that oxygen? I don't have temp shift plates. <laughs> that requires water tech, which is supercomputer. Oh, deep freeze the food and hydrogen, no spoilers. Yep, that's actually what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be grabbing hydrogen for sterile environment. What is temp shift plate? Yes, we don't have the tech yet, sadly. Oh, someone's starving again. Freeze a dude. Just go grab some food it's at the bottom of the map. 8,000 k cows, man. You'll be fine. One aqua tuner with super cool enough to cool six turbines at full capacity. How much is this? 844 times 10. So that's 84.4. Times 14. 
that's 800 and then 14 that's what let's say 15 that's what 12 so let's say 11 so it's uh 111,000 DTU so let's say 100k how much heat does the turbines actually generate 200 degrees and then they do delete some of it and then they absorb some of it isn't it at 200 degrees around 100k i might be wrong oh no it might be 80k i am not sure Cthulhu. i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Because it's like you would do that every second, and then they would produce one every second, and then one's more than enough for one easily. Uh, my math's probably off, though. My math's probably off. Zero Kelvin minus 283? Not bad. That's actually the max limit of this game for temperature. So I would want this. Well, no slime lung on the map. Yep. 273. Yes. Well, it's not 273. There is sleet wheat. Yeah, we can't do anything with it, though. Wait, why are you... You're storing food? But you're starving. Wait, you found food? Oh, sleet wheat grain is food. I don't need to store that. <laughs> I don't need to stir that. We can't grow that here. Yeah, it's only one grain. Because it was a buried object. Ah. So I do need to do it like this. Alright, this is to prevent the shovels from breaking out. No, they can't. They were storing it into the uh, food storage because it's uh, set for that. How come you're not eating? Oh, there's no food available. I was like, why aren't you eating? They ate all the food already, man. Come on, man. What happened? The starvation is real. Big old storm ripped through here, brother. How's the day out in the west? Oh man, you guys got the big storm. We had uh, we had rain. It was constant, but nothing too bad. There was a lot of areas that have a lot of flooding issues in Cali, but I'm not in one of them. So I'm okay. But for the most part, man, it feels bad. Hopefully you guys are okay though. But yeah, for the most part, some places are flooded down here. Well, up here, I guess, because uh, we're technically above you guys. So who's mining this? Frieza, you got this? We need some uh, muckroot. Uh, front office thing. It's a front office thing. I don't know what the front office is doing. I can't tell you. Why aren't you eating? Wait, you're Frieza. Why go go eat? Go eat, buddy. There we go. But yeah, it's a front office thing. If the front office submits him as inactive and then he plays, he gets suspended for the next game. So it's like since the front office is like, hey man, we're gonna sit AD. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Like AD just has to sit. This is literally front office. Not signing another big man, even though Mo Bamba got injured. Um, yeah. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's not the players, not the coach. It's literally the front office. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, man. It's, it is what it is. I can't even tell you why. I just know that that's what happens. More muck room. Let's go. Someone brought up a good point about that. They were saying that uh, the front office uh, was probably just following the advice of the medical staff, right? But the problem with that is, is that the medical staff 
doesn't have the team's record or best interest in mind. They're just trying to make sure that the guy in question doesn't get hurt. And that's the only thing they're thinking about. So it's, it's weird, man. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man, but that's something we don't have control over. It is what it is. Yeah, I read someone say that the map was easier than Rhyme. I don't think so. Easier for endgame stuff, but that's it. Yeah, easier for endgame stuff. Shouldn't that be the most important thing? That the person doesn't get injured even further? Well, think about it this way. You're making sure that the player isn't injured so that you could have a playoff run. But what's the point of that if you don't make the playoffs? <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, they're, at that point, you could argue they're just doing their job. But it's like, still, you know, it just it's just a bad look. It's always, it's a bad look. I wish that was true, Kingman. I wish that were true. The next year thing, you have to understand people get older. We have one of the oldest superstars in the league in LeBron James. We, time's ticking, man. Time's ticking. Injuries can't end with retirement. That's true. That is true. But it's like... Does that mean we should just give up for the season? Because that was like one of those... That was potentially a make or break game. Season's almost over. There's like a like month, month and a half left. And then if we don't make playoffs, that's it. We're done. And then we get to rest. The thing is, is that we have to have OKC lose, right? They, they can't win anymore for us to make the playoffs. And then the Pels are already out, I think. Well, we're above them, barely. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's not looking great, man. And then it's like, even if we make the playoffs, we don't want to do a play a play in game. Because if we make the playoffs, but then, uh, you know, we make it via the play in, that means we're playing extra games that we didn't have to play before. Which means those games AD has to play. Right? So it's like, you know, it would have been like if we played 10 minutes yesterday, instead of sitting him out entirely, we would have won because we barely lost. And it was to the worst team in the West Coast. They literally have the worst record. <laughs> so it's literally one of those things where it's like, it could have been easy, but it wasn't. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. No, I didn't play basketball in school. I did not play basketball in school. All right, we're going to have a safety door right here. We're going to want to mine this out first, though. Oh, this is space exposure. Oh, that's not good. I mean, it is what it is. We'll have to put a proper door here then. Oh, we have to do it the other way. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I didn't play basketball at school. Basketball is just kind of like my sport of choice. guess on uh, how injured and on the injury and it's it's whatever's is this one of those things that's like if everyone communicated a little bit better i felt like it, we would have had better results but instead it's like one department making a decision and another department you know kind of just having to live with the results <laughs> right ATP, how are you? I see you over there. Welcome on in. How are things? Things are alright. We're doing the 100k challenge and we're breaching space right now. So we're trying to breach space, do the space stuff. And then we need to start grabbing shovels. Alright, so I need to start making a shovel box. I think this is going to be a great location. So let's start off with some digging. Well, that's going to be good. And we need to start leaving this area. So we will start with this setup. Space exposure here, it's fine. We'll have to climb up through the door. And then we're going to go into space. 
Uh, not really too worried about meteorites, but we have heat finally, and that's what we want. So, we're going to start trying to dig out an area, and then we need to start hunting some shovels. Now, we need to make a shovel ranch, so I'm probably going to put that here. And then I need to get some water soon, so... I need to create a space in order to create heat, and then... I think it's going to be here. I think what we would do is... It's a weird design, but I would have to dig into the Abyssalite on the side. I need to make this thin enough so that the uh, shovels don't go through. Why not start moving out the iron out of your living area? You could move it in a bit and stop each one after one tick of damage. They, they wouldn't take damage. I don't think. It could be hot, but I don't think they would take damage. Uh, ooh, water. This actually helps, because it's not going to freeze immediately. Yeah, they're not going to take damage. They're not going to take damage. I don't think they will. Let's, let's see. I don't think they should take damage. Maybe they will, though. Who knows, right? Alright, let's grab the iron. Hot iron. Totally being held onto. Yucky lungs feels bad. Nice. Easy times. <laughs> the iron is barely doing anything, though. Dupes are messed up. Nah, man. Dupes are immortal, baby. <laughs> Dupes are immortal. Alright, so they do that. Uh, we want to go up top to here, do the mining stuff. We only have one guy mining. And then... I guess we could have them run wheels, but I, I don't think it's going to benefit us yet. I guess for now, we make them grab iron. When you get up there, do you plan to use the crown molding trick to dig the regolith? Uh, you can. I don't think I want to, though. It wouldn't be, you know, it's it's a minor thing. It could be cool to do, but we don't need to do it. All right, so we need Mar over here digging. Uh, since he's doing that, he can't dig that, which is very unfortunate. And we do have dupes with skills now. Okay, we get Hulk Bravel tier one right here. So hopefully Marl could do the other job, and then Hulk could help him out with digging this. And if we have idle dupes, we give them some jobs to do down here to dig for some more muck root. Because we will need the food soon. There's a lot of food here, it looks like, though. So this is going to be the next area I want to dig. Hey, muck root. Let's go. Alright, he's helping out now. Good, good. And what I want my idle dupes to do is run the wheels, but I don't want to do this system yet until we have a uh, good design. I mean, I guess we could do this, because that was part of the setup. And then I don't have the large wires yet, which is what I want. Oh, water! Water! No, that's oxygen! No! No, I thought that was water. It's liquid oxygen. God damn it, dude. They lied to us. I thought we had Agua. Oh, you started over. Yeah, we're doing a challenge run. This is the new challenge. The 100k challenge. The whole map is at 173 Celsius or colder. And that means no water because it all freezes. Which means no technology because we need the supercomputer to have water. So right now we're trying to procure some water. So that's going to be uh, the goal, at least for right now. And we get water. Alright, so... Uh, oh yeah, it's going to be a little bit offset. So, for this to work, it's going to be here, here. We mine this. One, two, three, one, two. And then this is solid.
and then we gotta have the doors below it. Is there ice below the iron in the storage bin? No, there's not. But I don't think it's gonna heat up. I'm just gonna drop this on the ground. <laughs> like, it's barely gonna heat up. Oh, it's heating up? Nope, it's going back up. It's going back down. Alright, we'll just let that sit. I don't think the iron's gonna do enough, though. Alright, so we want to mine this and then get our doors here. This is gonna be our shovel ranch. Number one. Uh... I don't have any of the stations necessary. <laughs> well, we could have this, but we need the water first. So that's a low priority. They are not digging this. Unreachable? Oh, it's because they can't open the door. Ultimate jank. Okay, we're mining this. Alright, so we want to lower the priority of the construction here to a four. And that's because this is not necessary yet. I do need to clear up the uh, the area, so we'll mine out the area, but then that should be good enough. Any open dupes? No, there's actually a list of, uh, there's a queue line right now, Xandroff. There is Tasmadar and Rambo. Two people are already waiting for the new dupes already. And all the dupes are taken. So we don't have anything yet. The water would just refreeze. I know that's the worst part. That's the worst part. Alright, come on. We need to get the heat. There's a couple things we need to do here. And what we need is to have a nice lining. Make all the storage bins across the bottom hold one ton of iron. And then drop them all in the tiles below and actually heat the floor enough to heat everything else. That's not going to do anything. <laughs> it's not going to do anything. I see the idea though. But it's just not going to do anything. All right, we need to mine out the bottom now. Surface breach achievement, let's go. Yeah, we need the insulin tiles. The heat's dissipating everywhere. Like we could try to move it. It's just, man. That's such a minor effect. I don't think it's worth investing time into. We need to just worry about the shovels. All these minor changes, all these minor things we're doing is going to make us lose carnivore. <laughs> we just need to focus on this and food when we need it. Everything else doesn't matter. Like generating heat now makes no sense because you're not going to hold on to the heat. You're not going to hold on to it. Even if it warms up, it's not going to help you. Alright, so what we need to do here is we need to trim as much as we can. And we need the background tiles right here. Now, we don't want to break the abyssalite so that the shovels don't get into the base. That is kind of important. Alright, so we want to mine out the Abyssalite so that we could use this area with the hot regolith to have an easier time. And then we're going to have a modified design with this. These two are space exposure tiles still. Yo man, there's no water, it's all ice. Feels bad. We can't hydrate, man. Dupes in space, yeah, man. Speed run. Got a speed run. Got a speed run. You saw that made mess? Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Don't know what you guys are talking about because it didn't happen. Alright, so this is technically the lowest. the lowest I could get to. So we want to open all of this up. This is space exposure, but this is not. So if it's here, one, two, three, so it's here. 
And then I could climb down like that. Okay. So that's going to be what we need to do next. All this heat. Come on. Come on, man. That's a good amount of heat. We're going to need that. I can't wait, boys. The worst thing is going to be if it boils the water into steam and then the water leaves in the vacuum. That'd be the ultimate bait, dude. What happened? It got too hot. All the steam evaporated. Oh, dude. That's the worst thing that could happen. Oh, we can't breathe up here. The struggles. I guess the only good news is, is that we should open the door for now. No, I actually I shouldn't. I need to let them hold their breath. It's a struggle, but... It shouldn't matter though, right? Yeah, let's open the door. We have enough algae where it shouldn't matter. Oh, we're at 0k cows again. That's not a good look. Uh, We gotta start mining this. These don't really have a nice sequence. We'll do that later. And then I guess we grab those. Alright, so the hydrogen could leave now. And that should allow the cold energy to leave as well. And then this should allow the oxygen to come up. Now we have a hydrogen in like all the pockets, so I'm not really too worried about losing it. Hopefully that's going to be fine. We need that for the sterile environment for the food later on. Curbs, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Now we can't open these doors because the shovels are going to break through if we open those. And then the oxygen should start floating up, but I just hope it doesn't melt. That's where digging through the ice would benefit us. Because by having the ice uh, gone, the oxygen is less likely to liquefy. Dude, it keeps spilling into here. <laughs> oxygen keeps spilling down to the bottom. At least that means we take the cold energy and bring it down to the bottom. Mar, you got this. Nope, needs oxygen. Alright, so... If we are late, I need to start triggering Binge Eater, which I don't want to do, because that's stressful. Literally have to make stress on the dupes. And then we don't have anyone else to mine Abyssalite right now. It's such a struggle. Uh, found a little bit of food again. Good stuff. So instead of going up, let's go to here. And then there's a couple of dots here. We grab that one. And then these I want to grab next. Technically, we could grab these. Gotta make the jump. There's some right here. Some right here still. And some right here. That's probably where I want to grab next. Oh, this gets wrecked. We have to go below into here. That should be fine. Iron! That's not gonna help. We have iron already. <laughs> that is not gonna help. What's met with super sustainable? That's an achievement. Super sustainable is one of the achievements that Oni has, and we'll go over it right now. Right here. You want to generate power, 240,000 joules of power, without using coal, natural gas, petrol, or wood. So steam turbines, solar power, hydrogen generator, or hamster wheels are your options for that. Now, for the most part, they want that because it's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. And I just realized I do have lights. Okay, that makes it a little bit faster. But uh, that's the achievement. Hopefully we can get that done as well. I'm not sure if we'll actually get that, but we are going to be gunning for it. But before that, we got to do uh, Carnivore and all that jazz first. If my oxygen doesn't liquefy, we'll be fine. But it keeps liquefying. It keeps liquefying. That's not a good look. 
Because <laughs> that means I can't get oxygen outside, and we need space. Alright, theoretically, we don't need all this. We might be okay with this. Like, if we mine this out, we should be fine. Should be fine, should be fine. Ah, uh, yeah, so the hardest achievements for the start. Yep, yep. And we're playing on the 100k. So it's uh, minus 180, 173, 183, depending on where you're at on the map. So it's uh, extra challenge, extra challenge. Hope you're having a good Thursday, though, the Randor. Hope you're having a good one. Oh, wait a second. Our dispensers... Uh, I will have to use a regular storage bin. I guess that's fine. All right, we're going to trim it. We're only going to need the small space here, I think. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. Did you see I uh, joined the dupe colony? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, there's two people in front of you already, Xandroff. So, we're not taking dupes yet, but once we will, uh, we'll have it on the list. So, you'll be fine. I'll check the list before I give any other dupes out. All good, all good. Gotcha, gotcha. So if you guys didn't know, this challenge is survive for 100 cycles. So after it hits cycle 100, challenge is technically going to be over. But we need to do the carnivore, locavore, and the uh, super sustainable along the run as well. So we'll be making some attempts if we fail. I will say that. Your idol with the full bladder? Okay. Feels bad. Uh, no transformers, huh? We have the power here. Our guy's running the wheel. All right, let's get the grill in then. All right, let's get a grill. And the micro mushers aren't going to help. Maybe even a second grill. And then I want this. And then get the ladder right here. Super sustainable 100 cycles? Yeah. There's going to be some things I need to build, but once I build it, I hope it works. I'm responsible, so I don't submit myself for a dupe. The last me destroyed the universe, so yeah. <laughs> Crashed the game, dude. The desktop. Can you explain the plan in a nutshell? We want to go to the top. Once we get to the top, we get heat. Uh, we need the heat because everything is frozen as ice, and we need the water for research. What we're going to want to do is basically do some research with water at the top of the map right and that's because uh this is the only place where it's going to be feasible so by doing research here we're going to basically do uh the things that require water so that's what we're trying to do all right for this to work properly i need to have this design All right, let's get this built. So I don't want the sandstone touching the abyssalite because the abyssalite is cold and there's heat transfer like that. And then what we're going to do is put some bins here and we're going to collect the regolith that is hot. And put that here. Once that's done, we're going to remove the bins and then we're going to put ice sculptures here. And then we get water. <laughs> That's, that's kind of the plan right now, for lack of better words. Technically, though, I should do this. That's technically beneficial to me. And then I wouldn't need these two bins there. Well, I kind of would. I probably should move the iron up here, too. That actually helps us out. So what we're doing is we're utilizing the vacuum where there's no heat transfer. So by having a vacuum here and there's no gas, we could properly do melting. And we drastically need the ability to melt. Because without the ability to melt ice, we don't get water. And we're only able to do that once we have heat control or a little bit of control over the heat in a certain area. Since it's in the vacuum, none of the cold energy in the area will be able to affect this, which is why I, I deem it necessary. So this is going to be what we need to have. And we need the background tiles because since we don't have water, we don't get drywall. So it's a bunch of uh, shenanigans and meme strats we got to do. 
Now, the other problem was, was that once I were to build, or once I were able to melt ice, the problem was, was that it was going to refreeze. Everything is just way too cold. So the ice was going to refreeze most of the time. So we're going to be trying to move the hot regolith from the top, move it to the bottom. And once we have enough of it, we're hoping to melt the ice into water. And then once we have water, we can start doing research. And that means I need to build my supercomputer very close. Still come in with new strats, I think. This is a good map for creative thinking. Yeah, man, this, it's a unique problem that you wouldn't run into otherwise. And since all of the other problems are already solved, you know, it becomes one of those things. All right, so sweep only 5,000, and this is going to be regolith. It's going to be on both, and then we just need to build this now, and then now we need to get to the surface. So we're going to go this way, so that we could have this layer of mafic rock protect us, and then we'll start harvesting the hot regolith that's right here. Hopefully we'll find some shovel eggs, stuff like that, and start... Uh, oh, I need to move the bin out here. That's right, I need the shovel egg bin. All right. Necessary strats, though. Necessary strats. So all the regolith here is going to be uh, what we're mining for because it's hot. Uh, why don't you store ice in bins because instead of ice sculptor? Too much mass? Uh, heat transfer properties don't work the same. So when a item's in the contents, it's weird heat transfer. Uh, so... It's a mass thing, and of course, the heat transfer is not as effective. I actually think it's about the same, but the difference is, is that the stats of the storage bin is worse than the stats of an ice sculpture. That might be it, but I'm not 100% sure. 2-9. And then what is this? Uh, ice. 2-1. Oh, wow. SXC is higher, too. Then does that mean this warms up, but then it passes the temperature to the end? I don't know. It's weird. Need to close the door at the top? No. Uh, hydrogen's there. I'm letting the hydrogen leak out. Hoping that the oxygen takes its place, but then the oxygen is liquefying. <laughs> we don't need to close the door. It slows them down moving in and out. And we have enough oxygen where I don't have to worry about it because I have a lot of algae. If I look at my algae right now, it's probably insane. I have 17 tons. And we have a lot on the map still, especially this large vein. But yeah, at least, uh, yeah, it's Wind Woods, right? Don't need to close it yet, but it will be something I will have to do soon. I probably run a wheel here then. Ooh. Uh, yes. Okay. So let's open this up. And we'll run a wheel right here so that we could power the supercomputer. We gotta mine this out for that. We gotta mine this out. Made a mess, feels bad. So, 15 cycles to get all that done. 15 cycles. Because I need to get shovels in this box, and I can't do that without the wrangling tech. So I have 15, 14 cycles to get that all done so that we can get carnivore on time. That's kind of the scary thing right now. We need a race to get carnivore. If we get carnivore, we get locavore. And then once we get that rolling, we're going to try to get super sustainable so we're going to be building a lot of lights everywhere so that everyone's running the wheel generating power and then uh using the lights hey i see atp uh two weeks ago so you went to work in march and then came back in march uh no the last update was in february the quality of life update if you want to see that uh, i have a video on youtube that you can check out if that's what you're looking for. But... Yeah, we're gonna go with this. But for the most part, that's that was it. Uh, nothing else outside of that, to be honest. The little shovel babies. I see you guys. Why not burn the hydrogen for super sustainable? I don't have the tech... 
I don't know what to tell you, man. So, so right now, you you have to understand. There's a lot of options in the game, but I can't do any of it. <laughs> so my supercomputer right here that locks me all the research for everything in the game basically uh, needs water, and all my water is ice, and I can't melt the ice because the entire map is at 173. So that would be great. I would love to do that, but I can't. I can't. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I just can't, man. I don't have hydrogen generator. I don't have gas reservoirs to store the hydrogen. I could get pumps. That's it. But I, I, I don't have the, the options. It's just not an option. How are you avoiding hypothermia? Hypothermia is actually not something you worry about. The duplicates probably have hypothermia. For the most part, though, hypothermia also requires you to be wet. So that might be uh, one of the reasons. I might want to kill this guy, man. Just to get the meat. Just to get the meat. I might want to do that. Also, without producing more hydrogen than existing hydrogen in the map, will be gone in like five minutes. Yep. Like, it's like, it'd be something we could burn, but it's, you know... Oh, there's a hatch right here. It's not something realistically we could uh, do at the moment. But yeah, hope that helps, man. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'll be happy to help. Oh, look at this guy. He's trying to break in. This guy, he really wants to die. And he's going to go to the regolith immediately. Look at him dig through. This guy, the shovel. Alright, so... Let's sweep the regolith. Filtration medium. It's at the very top, classic. Sweep the regolith into the bins. This is starting to get cold. Oh, is that because the shovel swam through it? Aw, oh, come on. He swam through it with the negative temperatures and he cooled down the tiles. That's not cool, man. It's not cool. Alright, we gotta move the regolith. Especially the hot stuff. So let's move that first. We got some more digging to do. I need to look at shovel eggs. I have zero, that's fine. If we do see any, they need to go into here. I need to make sure we keep an eye on this. This is still liquefying, man. It's so annoying. This part of the map, it's, it's really cold. I need to cut that off somehow. Do you need more food? I should. I should kill the shovel. It's not cool. It, nah, it's really cool. I see you over there. I don't have dispenser. I don't have that. I need water for that. <laughs> I need water for everything, man. It's such a struggle. Alright, man. We're killing a shovel, man. ASAP. We gotta do it. Alright. No more meat. Not allowed to eat that anymore. Instead, permanent barbecue. Priority 9 cooks. Construction on a high priority. No, they're already building this. Make that a 7. Food. Give us food. Acorns. Sure. Uh, we could try to dig through for some more mealwood. I mean, uh, muckroot. That is always an option. But we're gonna try, because no one's actually starving yet. We're gonna kill a shovel. So, if we see a shovel and he's popped out, we gotta kill him. He needs to be within range, though. Mess him up, mess him up! Mess him up, Marl. Mess him up. Marl, dude. What happens? Mess him up. Hit him with the proton cannon. Don't let him run. Ah, uh, what are you doing? There it is. There it is. Swing. Ah, uh, come on. The shovels. He's, he's too good. He got the, he got the maneuver skills. We have barbecue. Hey, we got barbecue. Let's go. This will last an easy 10 cycles without even have to put this in seal 2. I guess that's fine. 
I guess that's fine. Frozen barbecue? Easy. I know, man. That hatch saved us. Alright, move the uh, regolith. We gotta do it. 47 degrees. We gotta move and dump. Move and dump. Oh, they're just gonna pick this up into here. Oh, no, it's sweep only. Yeah, 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 yeah. Instantly frozen. Only way to do it, man. Gotta have, this, gotta have the frozen BBQ. Gotta have the frozen BBQs. Alright, some of the iron's hot, too. So this one will be hot iron as well. We'll start moving that into here. Oh yeah, that puff died immediately. Hey man, he had to go. <laughs> he had to go, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. Alright, I am also going to start building the ice block. It's going to be necessary. Necessary things we got to do. Look at that heat transfer. It's already uh, going up. Alright, so we need this ice to uh, melt, if possible. The, sh the Spoonwood Shine Bug died early. Dude, I think within the cycle, man. I hate to say it. It spawned and then it died. Alright, so we want to move the... Oh yeah, I want to select iron as well. How is refined metal not at the bottom? And then there was one at the bottom as well. Nobody knows what happened. No witnesses. This is true. There were no witnesses. Achievement. Do we have... Oh, we do. Okay, so I could, I could mine this out now. Oh, let's go. Because I could mine this out, I think the magma is going to spill out a little bit better, which helps us out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proximity enabled. It doesn't do anything, but I'll enable it. I'll enable it. I'll enable it. Oh, <gasps> pea water. Yo, what the hell? What do you mean, pea water? <laughs> Someone peed on this? Oh man, they need a thousand per cycle on normal difficulty. <gasps> Water boys, it's time! Oh my god! What's this heat? Water! We got water! Oh, it's freezing again. Get the ice statue, please. Kill this guy. Okay. Kill this guy. Marl, where you at? Take him out. Oh, he, he ducked in. He ducked in. I can't tell if the temperature's going up or down. The hot iron right here, too. Dude, drastically falling. Oh, all the pea ice melted. Oh, warning. That will push the... the. That's true. That is true. That potentially is a thing. Don't you need them alive to reproduce? I, I have no calories, man. I do need them alive, but for now, I need to kill one of them. <laughs> like, it, it, it wouldn't matter if my dupes are dead already. <laughs> wouldn't matter if my dupes are already dead. Just saying. Alright, he looked like he snuck out. Alright, we really need this power wire built too, man. There's so many things that are not being built up top. I just need to move my base up there, man. Don't let the dupes make a mess. I know, man. I have to constantly mop up the pea ice. The thing is, is that I don't see it anymore. The polluted ice is gone. I don't see it. But I will sweep it. Oh, yeah, I can't sweep this. This is ice. This is fine. Regolith. We have iron and regolith. Look at this heat. This is barely getting affected now. Come on. 
Come on, man. Why is this barely getting affected? Alright, maybe this isn't the play. Alright, let's deconstruct the ice block. And then we were just going to use a regular storage bin and drop ice on the grounds. That's probably better. The bin is just regular. One of them is iron. This guy's got to go. Hit him with the cannon. Oh, yes. Sweet, sweet meat. Let's go, boys. Meat's back on the menu. Can we get the cooks to start cooking? Oh, we got no wheel runners. Need to get that started. Alright, no one's running here. Construction needs to be on a 7 priority. Because that is slow right now. Shovel egg. Another shovel. So I can't wrangle them right now. Which is why I'm uh, just killing them. I'm just killing them as we need the food. But I can't wrangle them because uh, I don't have the tech. I don't have critter drop off. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, I don't know. I can't do anything with that. Literally can't do anything with that. Dupes are just making a mess. I need to move the base off, dude. That'd help out so much. I think it's because all the resources are at the bottom of the map as well. It's it's what's making it a little bit difficult. They have to go all the way to the bottom to get the resources to build the stuff up top. Because there's no metal up here. All the copper's at the bottom. Oh, and it's getting unbreathable. What? Oxygen is struggling? Oh, it's because it's liquefying. Dude, that's jank. Not permitted. Decorate? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're not decorating. Slowly descends into time and pressure chaos. Exactly. Wait a second. <gasps> Are you kidding me? When you deconstruct the ice statue, it deletes 150 degrees? <gasps> Strats! Yo, that's strats. Yeah, just delete a temperature. It literally dropped a digit. Yo, okay. Uh, liquefiable, we're going to use ice. All right, so I'm going to sweep this. And it's going to drop in one of the bins, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is at 55, so I could drop this. Dude, is that the strat? Is that the strat? 13.7, 13.6. Temperature is going up. It's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Alright, I need to get a small bin of ice. That's going to be this one. Uh, let's put 10 kilograms at a time. Let's sweep this. Sweep the 10 kilograms. Put that down. Sweep that into here. Oh, wait. I got to unselect ice from this. There we go. And then unselect that. This becomes sweepable, and then that goes into here. And then we could melt small increments of ice at a time. 10 kilograms there. Dude, look at that fall. Dude, that might be the strat. 10 kilogram at a time. Actually, I shouldn't do that. Alright, so we have the ice here. Drop that, drop that. Alright, that was a little bit too much ice. Oh, that ice needs to go. Uh, no liquefiables, no liquid. Yeah, I, I, I messed up. So I gotta sweep this. 
into here. Dude, look at that just drop, dude. And the worst part is they're not fixing the power wire. <laughs> it's taking so long for them to build this. Alright, 10 cycles to do this. 10 cycles to do this. No! starved how did he starve what happened was he stuck was there sand at the bottom no was was bbq not selected it was did the guy never cook uh do, oh. no he is he is supposed to cook Oh, huge rip, boys. Might have done with the starvation thing. Yeah, maybe. Well, that's uh, that's a bad way to reset. I think part of the challenge was no deaths. So this is not a good shot. This was uh, not a good shot. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh, man. All right, guys, we are going to continue this for a little bit of science. And what I mean when I say that is uh, after today's stream, they are we're going to reset the run. <laughs> but I want to do a little bit of science to see if this works the way I think it does. And we might, if we have time, start the new run today. But for now, oh, man, this guy died. I was supposed to have no deaths on the run. <gasps> and we finally got water. No, oh, this is a bad way to go. We have water. We have water, dude. Right when he died. Oh, my God. What food? It's meats. I, I didn't want them to eat the meat because I wanted to cook it for barbecue. Yeah, barbecue never got cooked. Barbecue never got cooked. Huge rip. Not enough dupes, and I'm just so far away. Alright, who's, who's, how much calories are you? Okay, this is not a good look. All right, this is really bad combination because Frieza's the cook. <laughs> Frieza's the cook, man. Can someone? Oh, you have you have uh, supplying the uh, barbecue. Okay, cool. Now we can't. No one's running the wheel. You're gonna die, Hulk. Yeah, I guess we have to allow them to eat the raw meat. That's such a loss. Turn off the O2 gen. Turn off the top ones, yeah. Ice. No. Reject everybody. Chino Zuka, I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Oh, he didn't make it in time either. Alright, boys, I think we just resetting. He was allowed to eat and didn't want to take it. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, so what do we learn from this, guys? Strat works. The regular strat works. Uh, downside? I might have to relocate my base vertically. Because this is just so far away. Uh, this is basically the no geyser strat. If we get lucky and we get a water geyser next time, we immediately win. I still want to use the strat though, because this is going to be the more uh, consistent strat. If we got luck with a geyser, of course I'll take it though. Damn, we have to reset though. Alright, so next time. 
Stress was a problem in the beginning, but not really. And then... There was no way to realistically generate heat inside of the base. The oxygen touches the tiles, which touches these tiles, so the heat transfer would eventually even out. And that means no change in heat. The regular strat that we did is the only thing I think that really works. Like the, the water, the tiles, everything worked out properly. We have water here. We could mop up the user for the supercomputer. The only thing that was really the problem is the travel. So I think that's what we want to do. Try to move the base up vertically, far up as we can. Yeah, we're going to be mining out the copper and stuff down here, but we need to move up. But that's part of the trap. I can't build power wires here. You might be able to put ice. Shinozuka, you all right, man? You all right, buddy? I mean, I would have to get lucky with the volcano again, though. I would have to get lucky with this. If you can have a vacuum between the room and the rest of the base. That's tough. That'll be tough to do. No, uh, we're doing super sustainable, so we can't use the generators for that. All right, I think Chino Zuka's not there. I think he's like literally just uh, butt dialing. So we're just going to ban him for now. I have no idea what he's doing. But we got to restart. So guys, we got to restart the run. Already failed once. All right, guys. To the main menu. 